Can you guys not see that emote I just posted? Lane a bandit? Really? Wait, how do I unban? Can that be unbanned? I'd like to allow the Haz Hazrio emote. I don't want to unban the emote. I mean, I don't want to ban. I don't want to have banned emotes. Come on. How do we unban this? I can't use it. How do I have to do... Yeah, but how do I do that? Honestly, I think you guys underestimate. Like, I don't actually... I have not banned a single word in my channel because I don't know how to do it. This has all been done by others. <laughs> yes. So, if anybody knows how to unban that, then let me know and I'll do it. Can I just type... Can I just type... Um... Unban has... Wait, what was it? Oh no, I don't know how to do that. It's under banned words. Right, but where do I get to that? God, it's probably like in Stream Manager somewhere, right? Community? Moderation? Wait, what? I actually don't see it there. Okay, give me a second. Let's see if we can get this going. Oh, by the way, it's not that's not actually loading right there. It's uh It just freezes when I click out, when I tab out. Can you guys use the emote now? Nope. Mod only emotes. What? Why can't that? Why doesn't that work? Sorry guys, I don't know how to do it. My bad. I don't know how to do it, man. I apologize. I apologize. I'm trying to fix it for you, spider dude. I'm trying, man. I didn't realize the emote was banned. Oh, I have two composite short bows. Oh, I have two of these. Wait, a standard ass sling stuff? Sling stuff plus two, huh? Alcat Games, if you are listening, please. Please allow me to sort by type. Please allow me to sort by type, honestly. By weapon type, right? Please, that would be my, uh, that would be so helpful to me. Sort by short swords. So I can have all of my short swords next to each other. Axes next to each other. Hand axes, nunchucks, great axes, great swords. 
Allow me to sort by type, please. Working now? Nope. It's not on the banned term list. I know, that's what I was wondering. It's weird, right? I don't know how that happened, dude. I really don't. I'm there. Delete block term. Hey, Korma. What's up, dude? Thank you for the host, man. Thank you, man. NB, take it easy, man. Get some sleep. Wait, what? Wait, everybody could use that emote for a long time. We still blocked words. Hell Knights are not the most courteous guests, courteous guests are they? And the Hell Knights from the Order, the Rack, the Vilest of the Mall. I agree, man. These guys are ridiculous. A tan skin half elf with green eyes looks at you respectfully, but with a smile on his face. My name is Darwin. Oh, this is the guy. Darwin, the rebellious murder links he is searching for. Yes, I'm a rebel, a murderer, a pirate, a renegade, a smuggler. I have lots of other scary titles. The half-elf laughs lightly, but watching you closely at the same time. If you listen to Lynxia, I'm evil incarnate baby eater. Your worst nightmare come true. And if the end of time should ever come, it will be because of me and me alone. Of course, all of Lynxia's accusations are false. That is to say, they are not entirely true. It's true I'm involved in this story, but my sins are not so great as they are thought to be. Tell me a story. It's so long, I don't even know where to begin. Although, I guess you're only interested in the things I've been accused of. I, I did in fact kill a Chelish noble and I participated in a rebellion, but all this happened by total accident. I was a captain of the ship that sailed the inner sea. We traded with those who were stronger than us and raided those who were weaker. Just a regular life of uh, life for a man of my profession. One day we stopped at one of the Chiliax ports and that's when it all started. I caught sight of a certain Chelish noble for who a long time had been number one on my kill on sight list. So I challenged him to a duel and he was too stupid to refuse. Oh, so what was it? He's right. What was it? Dude, he's right. Thank you so much for doing that, man. Thank you. Thank you, man. Uh, I dispatched him only then to learn that it was a distant relative of Chiliax's crown prince, and besides that, the lord of the surrounding lands, and of course, no one in the area was at all fond of him. After his death, the rebellion broke out. That's nothing new for Chiliax. As his accidental killer, I was named the rebellion's leader, but I assure you, I fled the first moment I could, leapt upon my ship, and set sail. A month later, I found that I'd become the main reason for a great tragedy and an enemy of the Chalish people. Okay. So what did this guy do to piss you off, man? Once long ago, long before this rebellion nonsense, I used to be a simple sailor who served the Teldorian merchant fleet. Good times. The blazing sun overhead, a salty taste on your lips, the squawk of ski seagulls calling you forwards. Ropes squeaking in the storm as you fight against the sea itself, winning in the end. And of course, the line of the land on the horizon. When you know that tonight you'll have a mug of rum in one hand and a smiling girl to share it with. But all that came to an end when once a certain Chalish noble decided that he liked our goods but didn't like our fleet. I survived the battle, barely, clinging to a piece of driftwood, lost on the open sea like me. I swore I'd have my revenge, so I decided to become a pirate myself, a pirate captain as need be. You can't always get what you want, you know, unless you're me. <laughs> what do you want from me, Darwin? 
I'm glad you asked. I have so much to offer. You see, I'm rich, and I don't mind sharing my riches with those who can help me with my troubles. Linksia, on the other hand, will give you nothing. I doubt she'd even say thank you. I know where Linksia has set up her temporary camp in a secluded lodge on the edge of the southern Null Marshes. Go there, convince her to stop chasing me, order her, kill her if needed. It shouldn't be difficult, so what do you say? Do we have a deal? You figured you would buy me? Okay, hang on. So we got we we this is split. We have the Hell Knights, who I dislike completely. I don't know if this guy is actually good. He's a criminal. Is he evil? Ugly sailor, what's up, man? How are you, dude? George, what's up, man? Welcome back. He's a pirate. They are sailors. Kill the pirate. <sighs> Use Mario wisely. Pirates aren't ever good. Can't you have like a cow to good pirate? I'm gonna... Oh, you can lie about this. <gasps> I think I'm going to take a lawful neutral. I'm so glad to hear it. Please deal with Linksy as soon as possible. I'll find you after you resolve the situation. make baby Jesus cry man okay so where are we at where are we at deal with the devil Wait, I actually did that already oh no secluded lodge chase my shadow I hope that I don't, like, run out of time for this stuff, man. There's a lot I need to do here. Let's take, uh, let's try and go and do this. Um, let's go and try and do this for... Amiri here. I know it wasn't clear about alignment in the BG3 presentation. I wanted to illuminate that alignment is in the game, but is no longer restrictive on choices as it was in the past. Choices of alignment still have consequences, but you aren't forced to ignore a choice anymore based on previous actions. How do you mean ignore a choice? I mean, you still have to commit to the choice that you make, right? Like if there is a choice, if, if there is like five options when you're talking to a character, and one of those options says, Hey, screw you, man. I hate your guts. And the other one says, Oh, man, I totally agree with you. You still, ha you can't make both choices, right? You still, you have to make one or the other. So you are kind of ignoring something, right? Unless you're meaning something different that I'm not, I'm not quite following. 25 AC. Like choices not available due to alignment now available to all. Oh.
I mean, I don't necessarily think that that's a bad thing, right? I don't think that that's a bad thing, but I would like to know what those choices are. Like, I would like to see it, like, physically on the words. Like, boom, this is lawful good. That's all. That That's my only... That's what I would like to see. I don't like that it's all hidden. I feel like it would be a very small adjustment to have those tags added. Forty days, fourteen. A hundred and seventy. Wait, why, why isn't this, uh... Oh, I actually need to be there to claim it. My bad, that's what I wanted to do before we left. I wanted to claim the Nile Marshes. Or, you know what, screw that, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get this quest done first. The Order of Prisms continues to condemn your barony. Stats. Oh god. These guys are just going to kill me, dude. I feel that Pathfinder and, and Pure Eternity are the natural successes of Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Me too, man. So did you see all the Baldur's Gate 3 stuff, George? And what did you feel about it? We haven't, we haven't discussed, I haven't heard your opinion. I put knock knock away for Amiri. I'm off. Consider me. Let's finish them quick. Tear them apart. Seriously? One poor skeleton? Oh man, poor guy. Okay, that's cool. If that's what they mean by by how the alignment is present but just you're not restricted by it then that's cool i like that i like that idea very much very much so i need to catch my breath so let's go straight to six beers right i'm hungry when we stop Well, Lena, thank you. Thank you, thank you for the host. So tasty. Rogue, thank you for the host, man. This been legend. Thank you, dude. Completely different fight without knock knock, man. dude and why did I oh man my brain is clearly not here dude I don't even know why harem is here 
Why did I take Harem with me? I don't want this bum. Tristan's way better. This guy's too negative. Right, this guy's a negative Nancy, dude. Can she cook? Nope. Oh my god. Um... There we go. That's pretty good. Haven't you seen enough? <laughs> I think Baldur's Gate. Of so Wait. Dead that you thought about what awaits you. What's there to think about? I'll live while I'm alive, and when I'm dead, it's the end. I'll go to Gorham's feast. Um, it may come down to the strength of the story for me. Strong Baldur's Gate connection and story will trump the game engine, I think. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point, man. I think Baldur's Gate, the series, ended with Baldur's Gate 2. Throne of Baal. So unless you keep the game in the same vein but modify the rule set to 5th, you're making a fundamentally different game. Yeah. I think there's always going to be those problems, right? Or like always. It doesn't matter. If you revive an old series, unless you adhere to that series, like it it would have been totally possible to adhere to it. Update all the graphics, make everything run slick, smooth, but keep the same feel. They could have made that game. They could have, man. It's not, it's not at all like out of reach, but they didn't. They chose not to. Like, 100%. It was a choice. They chose not to do it. And I think that's what hurts. Whew, let's see. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. I feel the same way as you, George. I feel the same way, man. It just, it doesn't feel like a Baldur's Gate game. Right? Oh god. Or if there's going to be some crazy fight here. I'm there. Oh crap. As you approach the Six Bears campsite, you hear some rising noise and grumbling. Gathered outside their tents, the men of the tribe are having a heated discussion over something. One of them, a huge gray-haired man with a scar on his face, shouts, Brothers, this cannot go on. We need a new chieftain or this tribe is no more. Akai has lost his instincts. He led us into a trap. We almost got killed in the war with Bravoy. All of us. Damn it. The only reason he still breathes is a kinslayer was too weak to finish him off. Away with the old fool. Let's be real. BG3 may as well be DOS3 with how that preview went today. Yeah. Yeah. I understand why people feel that way, man. You can't really... You can't defend against that. Because it's so obvious. You know what I mean? So it's kind of... It's a kind of nothing argument. And it, it just kind of, it is what it is. That doesn't mean it's going to be a crappy game. By, by any, any stretch. Uh, grinding his rotten teeth, Akaya tears a heavy necklace from his neck and throws it into the dust. Take it, may you all choke on it. I'll see how you manage without old Akaya. So who's going to be the new chieftain? Maybe you? Me? Oh no, the chieftain must know what threatens the tribe, be able to defend it. 
if we were to if we were home i would fight for power but here in the southern lands we need a different kind of chief i say nilak there is grumbling in the crowd but the barbarian continues shouting over it think who led us through numeria was it akaya no it was nilak who negotiated with the local tribes while he huffed and beat his chest nilak who was the only one who saw the danger of armark and the sisters nilak of course a woman has never been the leader of six bears before just like six bears have never left our homeland before but if we want to survive we must change one by one the barbarians stop arguing and join the chant soon the whole tribe is shouting nilak's name the girl steps from the crowd her face is confused but glancing above the men's heads she sees a mary's encouraging smile and nods one of the barbarians puts a necklace of fangs around her neck once worn by akaya brothers i accept this honor i swear that i will lead and protect the tribe like every chieftain since the time of the bear ancestors i will find a way to save us from the ghosts that haunt us and i will find a place for us in these strange southern lands get packed we return to numeria the barbarians disperse and pack their tents nilak approaches and hugs mary so this is how it all turns out i still cannot believe it i never wanted to be leader but you you should be the chief there will never be no place in the six bears for me but you can do it without me sis give 1000 coins here take this you might need it Congratulations, thanks. That seems like everything in the world will change someday. Where will you lead the tribe now? To Starfall. The evil spirit who haunts us is not that powerful. He doesn't dare attack near big settlements. Why don't you stay in my lands? Thank you, but there is no place for us here. These forests, swamps, rivers, strange and unfamiliar people. The six bears want to be with our kin, the Kellids. Amiri, maybe now you can return to your tribe? No. Let's give her a thousand bucks, right? Here, take this. You might need it thank you i hope one day our tribe will repay you for all the good you've done should i even say that no you heard what they said i'm pariah kinslayer this cannot be changed even a chieftain's order will not make them forget what i did farewell nilak have a safe journey nilak bows to you hugs a merry farewell and leads her tribe away wait that's it interesting So it's just a little visit. I thought I had to go for a fight. Alright, that's cool. I'm glad that that kind of worked out like that. Um. I'm trying to get to this temple, dude. I'm making a beeline for it. Heroic logic, what's up, man? I don't know if that's actually even been showing up. I'm like pimping my own YouTube videos. Do we have any... I got a question. Is there any footage of how the camera is going to work in Wrath of the Righteous? Like, we've got a full 360 camera, right? We've got a full 360 camera 
And I'm wondering if it's going to stay this fixed kind of like ISO camera. But we can just rotate. Or whether I'm going to be able to zoom in and the camera has like pitch your... You know what I mean? Like, can we basically zoom right in and down and like angle the camera down and look in like a full 3D world? Or is it going to be completely isometric staying like this? This is what makes something feel like Baldur's Gate. Right? This camera. The moment you step away from that... Like, the zooming in still makes it feel... It doesn't take away from feeling Baldur's Gate to me. This still feels fine. In due time. Paladin of Shaylin. Oh. Here we go. I mean for BG3, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. So I was I was talking about for uh, Wrath of the Righteous. So they mentioned that the camera is going to be 360, but I'm wondering if it's going to be 360 view, but still 100% ISO. Like this camera right here. The difference between this camera and Divinity Original Sin's camera is that you can, in Divinity Original Sin, you can zoom in. Um, oh, Sorry. In Baldur's Gate 3, you can zoom in, but the camera also pitches, so it's almost like a, a kind of like over-the-shoulder shot. And that really makes it feel like Divinity as opposed to Baldur's Gate to me as well. Like the, the world view. Evil the Silver-Tongued. There is that bum. Right? It's this freaking bum. The Puran is sent this. Unimosi Travisi. Can I just disintegrate this guy while he's standing there? Don't hesitate. Okay, what's the deal? I'm here. I'm here, you friggin' bums. Hegend. Fredro Sinnet. Who is this guy? I respect your grace. Don't take your time. Priest Larian is ready to begin the ritual. What? Okay. A white-haired priest looks at you over his glasses. Look who's here, Baroness Has von Hammerhands. My respects, and I see you brought company. The paladin wearing armor strikes his open palm with his fist. Finally, for a woman balancing on the edge of excommunication, you are sluggish, Valerie. What? I'm never in a hurry to meet those who would seek petty revenge upon the innocent for another's alleged transgressions. Ooh. Please, everybody be calm. Let's not hurry in with the accusations and hasty decisions. In the end, we're in a sacred place. Arguments under this vaulting are unacceptable. Which of you is behind the dirty rumors about my barony? Let's get to the point. We say the truth and you call it a dirty rumor. We're the protectors of Shaylin. And all who call her patron. It's ridiculous to hear the charge of slander from one who has befriended a viper. Your friend blackens the name of the goddess herself. I will pass unremarked the vaguely veiled insults. In the end, I have the doubtful honor of talking to a coward who can only throw around empty words and ungrounded accusations. You are too spineless to meet me face to face and make your claims in person. That's why you prefer to strike on the sly. Please calm down. Although I do not approve of the methods of the respected Hegend. Hegend? I will not tolerate jokes at the expense of a paladin of Shaylin in her very temple. And you enjoy mocking Valerie and the Baroness? Why are there so many hypocrites among followers of supposed kind gods? That's true. I will consecrate your precious temple with your own blood. Sometimes I wish I was chaotic evil. Oh. Whenever someone shows this massive amount of pomp, right? I just immediately wish I could go straight 
to the slaughterhouse, right? Just hold my swords outstretched in my arms and just spin. Just spin. And you know, if uh, people happen to walk too close, then... I can't be held responsible. What is this place? The Temple of Lens is a new abbey for one of the orders of Shailen. The beautiful architectural masterpiece, isn't it? Such a sophisticated building will make a splendid home for the Order of Prisms. Harem looks up and around. The dwarf mindlessly thrusts his hand into his beard and tugs at it, mumbling something fiercely. I see there's a whole company here. My respect, Baroness. I came at the special invitation of Sir Hagen. How could I refuse a pallet of my beloved patron? My respects to you and you, Valerie. I heard about what happened to you, but seeing it with my own eyes is unbearable. Believe me, I never wanted this. To be honest, I don't even remember striking the blow. Really? We settled our argument in battle, Fredro. As for the scar, I've been wearing my wounds for a long time. Who are you? My name is Laryan Lar Laryan. Laryan? I'm a priest of Shalin and leader of the local congregation, for now at least, until my place is taken by a permanent priest from the Order of Prisms. For now I am a spiritual advisor and mentor to respected Hagen and his people, paladins of Shalin who require the advice of more experienced devotees. I don't have the slightest desire to meddle in the affairs of Shalin and her followers. I demand only one thing stop slandering me and my subjects. As long as Valerie is in your lands, no creator who crosses into your borders can feel safe. We heard how much she despises everyone who is capable of creating anything beautiful. And we're not going to keep silent about it. Of course she could repent for her transgressions voluntarily and beg the goddess for mercy. I tried to forget everything they stuck in my head in the order, but I remember one thing for certain. Shailen is not revengeful or stern. I don't believe your words, Paladin. You're right, Valerie. Our goddess is not stern with those who misstep, which is why you need not fear the divine trial. Its name is just an old tradition. Valerie looks down, and an expression that could be taken for ab abashment freezes on her face. What trial are you talking about? A divine trial is a spiritual ritual carried out by followers of a god for someone who has lapsed in their faith. It is not well known, but it is used on those for whom there is still hope, for returning to the church, or at least for making peace. Making peace indeed. Valerie, who rejected my lady, should not be should not count on being coddled. Yeah, what's she accused of? Of persistent disrespect and intolerance towards Shailen's order, and the goddess herself. The Order of the Eternal Rose disowned this woman, but we, the Order of Prisms, will finish what was started. If Valerie refuses to repent, she shall suffer, suffer, suffer punishment. If Shailen's newest order appears each time one another stops, uh, each time another one stops persecuting me, my disrespect for your goddess will only grow. You are creating the very thing that you so diligently fight, but are incapable of understanding this. <sighs> hmm. Let's see if this will bring her peace. Valerie keeps silence for a few moments and takes a deep breath. Very well. I will endure this trial if it helps put an end to all this. Thank you for agreeing, Valerie. Let's begin. Uh-oh, what is this? Oh, man. Shailen's divine trial has commenced. May she be merciful to the lost and confused. It is time to listen to all sides and decide what fate awaits Valerie. Today, under the vaulting of the Temple of Prisms, we... We followers of the goddess will give you, Valerie, a chance to redeem yourself in the eyes of Shailen, and... Enough, Lion. Everybody present... Um... 
No, she doesn't deserve redemption. She lost the right to forgiveness on the day she rejected Shaylin's grace. I didn't come here to stand silent like an idol. When I challenged Valerie to a duel, she agreed. We fought according to all the rules, and our argument was settled. Think what you will of Valerie, but at least she showed me some respect. I never wanted to insult anyone. All I wanted, all I dreamed of, was to choose my own way. Oh, God. Um... Everyone can choose their own path. You and Fredera follow Shailen's faith and Valerie's turned away from it. That doesn't mean you can interfere in her life. Please roll a nine. Are you kidding me? P please roll a fifteen. Load game. In due time. Frickin' bums. you're reading stuff out it takes so long right it takes so long but i i don't mind that but when you just load the game and you and i just click through it like that and i'm back to the same point it's like holy crap like 15 minutes to read all of that first second 10 seconds to click through failed again load game couldn't even roll a nine Guys need to take a dice rolling course, man. Absolutely pathetic. The floor is awesome. It is awesome. It's really, really cool. Come on! Yes! This may surprise you, but I agree with you. Once my blood cooled, I started to realize that my complaints about Valerie were a little excessive. Enough about Fr Fredera. We don't have that much time, and Valerie gives us much to consider. According to her masters at the Order of the Eternal Rose, she's always been noble and merciful. Stories about the valor she showed in Bravoy spread far beyond its borders. How many did this fearless warrior save from the fire at Jamandi Eldori's house? They and many others owe their lives to her. I only did what I had to. No more, no less. Oh my god, that is hilarious. I wonder, if she, I wonder if I can get that one too. I wonder what my chances are of... You rolled a three? <sighs> so much smugness in her words, so much pride. Valerie closes her eyes in irritation and swallows heavily. You feel she's about to scream. Enough, I'm tired of this endless babble. I shall prove that Valerie is a capricious and dishonorable woman who has twisted her life into a pursue a single goal. To harm everything that is precious to Shaylin. I have a reliable witness who can confirm my statement. I present Sir Evald. Evald pushes out her chest, uh, push, pushes his chest out and pulls his chin up. This lady insulted me in front of my audience for no reason at all. Arrested me with brutal force. And the worst part is, when dust settled and our blood cooled, Valerie didn't even think to apologize for her behavior. I say that only confirms her maliciousness. You provoked her. It's your fault, Evald. Yes. Oh, was this man's art meant to do harm? C. 
720. No, I, well, possibly, just possibly, I might have drawn some inspiration from a certain, from certain a poetic punishment. And I cannot accept your statement. Leave this temple. Oh my god. Hey, get out. Valerie raises her hand and takes a deep breath as if awakening from a deep sleep. She looks at the temple's decorations and raises her hand. I've stood here listening to your arguments for long enough. Now it's my turn to speak. My departure from the Order of the Eternal Rose was not an insult to Shailen or her followers. All I wanted was to devote my life to what's important to me. The goddess's followers never gave me a single chance to walk my own life's path. Do I value art? No. Am I ready to serve it? No. Do I respect those who have brought so much trouble to me and the Baroness? No. There are some of you, like me, who dream of just one thing, to carry out your chosen duty. Valerie turns to Lion and hollows her head. If all servants of Shailen were like you, my parting from the Order could have been much more peaceful. Maybe I don't deserve forgiveness in the eyes of Shailen. Maybe fanatics like Sir Hagen would be happier to see me in the noose. But I see now that one shouldn't laugh at another's way just because one doesn't understand or share it. But now, speaking openly before you, my conscience is definitely clear. And if you wish to judge me for that fact, that my opinion is different from yours, the divine trial is over. Shellen has made her decision. About what? How? The scar, it's gone. What? When? I didn't even notice. But why? Larian smiles softly looking at Valerie. Look at her, my friend. She is proud, but who could expect otherwise from a creature of such amazing beauty? Now, as Shellen's light fills Valerie's soul, the child is filled with a renewed radiance. The thorn that pricked has burned away. The goddess shows Valerie a way to the source of light and beauty. Oh my god, no! Hagen pulls out his weapon and shakes it in the air, rolling his bloodshot eyes. The witch has deceived Shellen. Only I know the will of my goddess, death to Valerie. Yo, what? Paladin, wait, who are these guys? Are these all gonna like attack Hagen? Oh my god, dude. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take this guy, yeah? Uh, we're gonna take Paladin, Paladin, Hagend, Paladin. Wah greetium. Wait, how many bad boys have I got here? Do not Aparan is sent this. I do like the voices in this game. Heretics. Valerie's panting and wiping the sweat from her forehead. This is it, finally. Valerie turns to Larian and looks at him expectantly. I think it's obvious to everyone here that they attack. That bloodshed is always a heavy burden on the shoulders of Shailen's followers. Forgive them, Valerie. Blind faith clouded their judgment and pushed towards violence, desecrating this holy place. Shailen's light will not soon return to this vaulting. Fredera puts away his weapon looking sour, but we will do everything in our power to wash away this disgrace. On behalf of the Order of the Eternal Rose, I offer you, Valerie, and you, Your Grace, my sincerest apologies. The Order of Prisms is young, and too, zealous in their judgments of events and signs. There's nothing else for us to do here, Has. If you don't mind, I'd like to have done with this place. That didn't exactly feel like visiting the temple of a kind goddess. Valerie scoffs in reply. I hope that after this, Shailen's paladins will think twice before doing any harm to your barony. Anyway, they're usually much more reserved than those fanatics from the Order of Prisms. Let's go. We can discuss that at the capital. I want to see the end of this place as soon as possible. Ho, ho, ho. What are these paladins got? Anything good? Alright, they got a little something. Alright, little something. 
This guy's rocking a tower shield. Tower. That Fredero over here. Higgins. <gasps> Higgins got a. F oh, he's decked out, huh? He's got a plus two longy. Light shield plus two. Mithril full plate plus one. Okay, he, he had some goodies. He had some decent goodies, man. I wonder about this uh, blessed path. AC 30. See, this mithril full plate is AC 31. I wonder if I should take that. Take that extra AC. Or, which, or whether I should take the extra will. Charisma and wisdom. Take the extra will. Hands killing the lawful good. How surprising. You kidding me? Those guys were evil. Chaotic evil, man. Right? They were they were trying to slaughter me in a temple. That has to be an act of pure evility. Will, charisma, and wisdom is better than extra one AC. Such a tough choice. But I do. They are pure lawful good. They were trying to quell a heresy. An evil. Quelling. You know it. I know it. We all know it. Okay, so that was done the mithril lets you move faster no I was checking that it doesn't actually make me move faster so her speed doesn't go up it stays the same Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to rage. That's right. Oh, look at all these places to search over this side, man. We are about to get something real going here. I'm going to come back here with Knock Knock. We get to start searching some new lands. Need to catch my breath. Really? You catch your breath, huh? Oh, today is the special day for you. One year older, one step closer to the end of all the vanity and trouble. Harem! My deepest congratulations. The thought that you approached the boneyard must be a relief. <laughs> Harem. Come on, man. Why you like this harem? Why you like this dude? Huh? Who did that to you, man? What difficulty did you play? Um, what difficulty did you play on on this game, dude?
Normal? Okay. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. I won't say anything. I'll be curious to see what... See how... And what difficulty you end up choosing. For... Uh, DOS 2. Happy birthday to you, Baroness. Oh, the Baroness's birthday is a special date for our young nation. It is thanks to her that we had the day... Wait, we had the opportunity to claim the Stolen Lands. It's the 28th of May, that's my birthday. And establish a new country in Galarian. Today is a day to forget about our troubles and revel in celebration. Today is a day to remember. Official visitors have come from all across River Kingdoms except Pytax. Their loss... Hey, screw those guys, man. Uncanny well. A strange occurrence has the subjects agitated. It's time to learn what happened. The hell? First of the sevenths, we don't need to sort that, but this one we do, right? First of the sixth, that's right. It can get it done, son. 35% success chance? Ekin, come on, man. Ten days to go. Lady in America's hello, hello, hello. Welcome. I feel very weak without knock knock in my team. Need to catch my breath. Very weak indeed. I wonder what determines the success chance of these missions. Then there is a way to up your success. There is. Yep. There is. You can level up the rank of your advisors and you can... Um, yeah, you can grow their skills. Which is pretty cool. I'm so happy to be here. You guys are the only safe place in this world, it seems. Thank you. Hey, bring it in, man. Bring it in. Just like that. That's how easy it is. Yes. <sighs> Why weak with knock knock in the team? No, no, no. I feel weak without knock knock in the team. I feel weak without him. Dude, he's a he's an axe. He's so strong. she rocking that 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 mithril ah ooh i see yeah man he makes a huge difference to any team it's kind of got me thinking a little bit about like his overall like DPS and that like Knife Master's overall DPS. It's very high, man. It's very, very high. Should get some rest. Did darkness take it easy, man? Have a good one, dude. And good luck, of course. With proceedings. Hope everything goes well, dude. 2k right there. 
We're selling that composite short bow. Uh, I'll keep that long sword. I'm selling the sling staff because we've got two of them. I don't really know about that one. We're selling the hide armor plus two. Uh, we're selling these guys, right? I don't think we need this ring of protection plus two. Or this belt. Extra planar cloak. Wait, where do we where the hell do we get that from? Wait, where the hell did that come from? Plus four constitution bonus. Summon monster five spell once a day. Huh. It does nothing, but I will give her a spell. I think everybody's pretty much... It's funny, when you're undead, you lose constitution. That's hilarious. Do undead have zero constitution? Like, they, they just don't have a value? I think that's the first time I've, I've like, thought about that. That cloak is called Summon Monster 5 for 9 rounds, yeah. Once per day. I could swear that when I was fighting all of those undead creatures, they've got a constitution, but maybe I'm... Maybe I'm just a dreaming that. that I can't can't really use this for anything uh, I guess I guess I could just give it to her it's not gonna it's not gonna give her a bonus to anything but at least it's gonna give her summon a monster five right it's gonna give her something and has everybody at least got level 2s here? 2, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, the Heart of Iris. She doesn't really have a necklace, but... 3, 2, 3, 4. Three, so I can sell all of this stuff. And two is like the lowest AC. Pretty sure. Wait, what is this? Two, two, two. She's got the only three. Two, 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 two. two, two. Yeah, okay. We can sell that as well. I think I want to... I'll probably sell that. Light shield plus two. I think the only thing I'll, I will keep is the long sword. I just wanted to be sure. Another 8k. I did knock knock 10 rogue 10 warrior with all the team uh, with the combat feats for attacks of opportunity to be clear one of the last combats in the game 
Only last one round. The first crit triggered attacks of opportunity and knock knock made the boss a bloody mess. Yeah, this... He is... Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Oh, just one second, guys. I thought my doggies were barking. I do what I must. Let me just put this long sword away. Save this, have a look at what the hell's going on here. Usually the undead don't have constitution, um, but they add charisma bonus to HP. Really? See, I didn't even know that. A strange occurrence is subject's head just had. It's time to learn what happened. Happy birthday to you, loyalty and relations. Wait, so what happened? What? So I feel like, I feel like if I go here town, I feel like if I go to one of these villages, like a village, like this one right here, Narl Keep, I feel like I should be able to upgrade this to a town. Because I have three. Why can't I upgrade this to a town? Like this thing is maxed out. Am I missing something here? Every three villages acquired in your domain will enable you to upgrade one of them to town level. Provided that six or more slots are occupied in that village. Does that mean I need to have... Does that mean I need to have three villages with six... All of them with six or more slots? Is that what that means? If that's what that means, then Null Keep is done. All right, let's just have a quick look. Six or more slots in Null Keep, so that's one. Okay, so Null Keep is one. Van, oh no, Van Hall is already done. Okay, Shambling Steps is done, that's two. Tatsalfoot is done. That's three. Trade guard. It looks like trade guard's done. That's four. Looks like... Well, Tuskdale, of course, is done. I wonder if we can get building in, in uh, this one. Truly notorious. Hey, thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you for the host. Okay, so let's build a brewery, right? Um, Mim's Jewelry, that's right. Oh no! God damn it, dude. I keep making this mistake. I just keep doing that. Uh, Mim's Jewelry, a tavern, barracks, halfling, a smithy. Uh, 
school. Maybe a shrine in a herbalist house. So, so now we are, now we are, now we are three villages, all with ten, right? So that's ten for Silvershire. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'll keep his done. Varnhold, of course, is already. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's that one done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's Tatzelford done. Trade guard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's trade guard done. Tuskdale. Yeah, 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 so that's that's all of my towns done. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do then. Um, maybe claim this region and make another town. Claim this region, build another town, build it up to ten, then upgrade another one of my places to a town so that I've got three towns so that I can upgrade my main to a massive town I do that oh. Magar protects the welfare of the citizens espionage than Jathol. But he's like our best treasure, I think. Like, by far. Economy plus seven. Mega Van economy plus two. save it then I'm going to drop that claim um it's going to blow up a few things but that will be okay saved let's claim these lands advance the barony People are unhappy about the Hell Knight's action. Their zeal has gone too far. What? Ah, oh, damn it, dude. There's always something burning. My loyalty has gone down. Okay, well, let's go and handle that straight away. What? A fey pranks are costing many lives. What the hell? Evil pranksters? Wait, what?
What the hell just happened? Oh my god, okay. Yeah, 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 I'm not gonna do that. Wow, that was a really bad time. Holy crap. That was not good. I just lost like 20... I just lost like 20 points of of stuff. 16 days. Oh man. Hey Risen, what's up dude? How are you man? Your internet keeps dying out and you don't know why, Cosmic? That sucks, dude. Okay, let's go and try and figure out... Uh, judgment. Oh, actually, let's talk to Valerie right now. Wait, is she in here somewhere? Wait, where the hell is Valerie, by the way? She's usually inside here. In due time. How are you, dude? Alright, where's Valerie? Right there. in the Temple of Prisms. Please let me speak first. I wish to thank you and apologize. I'm afraid I've dragged you into a huge amount of trouble. Trust me, I didn't want any of this and it saddens me what you've had to endure, but at the same time, I'm happy I had you at my side through it all. I finally stopped blaming Shailen for all my troubles and found peace. Not that I suddenly came to love the goddess and her stupid followers, but now I understand. If you want others to respect your choices, you must respect theirs, however ridiculous they may seem to you. And of course, I'm ready to return my with my duties for you. There are many battles ahead of you and my responsibility is to protect you from any threat. 7,200 EXP gained. Just like that. Together we can overcome any obstacle. I'm sure of it. Lawful evil. The next time someone comes to claim you, I'll just slit their throat. You only serve me. Don't forget it. <laughs> oh man, I love it. I like that style of ruling. Yes. You were at an event with four game studios talking about portfolio and resume stuff. Oh, that's cool, dude. That's cool, dude. How are you going with all of that? Promising. Valerie smiles with just one corner of her mouth. Your enthusiasm reminds me of Lindsay in a good way. I got to grind my skills more. Is that kind of like the general advice or the general kind of like thoughts that you got? I'm glad the scar is gone. Valerie touches her face where the scar used to be. At least the world around me has returned to its accustomed place. This morning I found another love note under my door. Though I can't say I missed the extra attention. Lol. Okay, that was awesome. So that's that's been done, right? Chase my shadow is done. Deal with the devil. Secluded Lodge, here we go. Let's head out to the Secluded Lodge. ASAP, man. Can't have this anymore. Check the character sheet. Biography. Judgment of the Gods, this one. Abilities. Valerie. 
Cyrus. Strength and charisma bonus. Yo. What? Dude, that's awesome. Wow. Imagine that. What about, um... Also, is her still going, maybe? Bury the past. Did this is it the same for everybody? I'm guessing it's only it's purely dependent on when you when you finish the quest. still cool regardless that is still cool all right amira you're out knock knock you're in harem you're out tristan in oh the team is back yes i'm just not focused enough but in general i have to be more quality aware of my my pieces yeah i think that's that's pretty sound advice man i mean I mean, even though I haven't done game specific stuff for a couple of years now, um, I still very much like got my finger on the pulse, especially with like, uh, places like still reaching out and, and wanting stuff built and the kind of like, you know, the, the, I guess all the limits with regards to like poly count and texture budgets and texture types and things like that and just the overall package of the characters and stuff that they're looking for and what they're looking for exactly the, even the style um i think most places are still kind of like veering on the side of they might see like one piece out of a folio right and go oh we want we kind of want to see more of that like we want to see more things kind of like that one that you did and if it, if there's not like three four five like a theme going in that style then they tend to just kind of like ease back a little bit secluded lodge here we go <laughs> adventures can wait You woke up way too early today, so I'm hopping into bed. Keep having fun, kicking butt. I woke up way too early too, dude. Repent. Uh oh. You forced my hand. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there yeah take it easy man have a good one dude be good get some rest i'm at 97 random encounters now i'm glad that we're just banging through these quests by the way i think we're at that stage now where things are starting to feel good with like the barony so i've got my bearings with how i'm kind of like managing Managing the days that are flowing past and then how I'm traveling, getting to and from certain places. So we can start chunking through this like story. Can wait. Okay, let's, let's <laughs> hang on just a second. 
Knock, knock. We don't want haggis, okay? Or well, maybe we do. Onions, shepherd pie, jeweled rice soup, sweet pancakes with that gout rag out. Oh, yummy. Onion soup. Oh, hell yeah. Wow, monster casserole, dude. Wyvern meat. Butter. Grilled sausages. Seasoned wings. Owlbear omelet cheese crostata. Baked spider legs. Broiled tusk water oysters. Smoked trout and hydra pate. Oh, what's black Lenorm stew? Eating a black Lenorm stew provides you with plus two bonus maximum HP per character level and fast healing one for a day. Holy smokes, dude. 34 DC to cook that. Whoa. Let's go for these succulent sauces, huh? You seldom utter a rude word, but your words and actions are often cruel. Why is this? One doesn't exclude the other. My sword always shines. I can't stand dirt on my armor. But when it comes to battle, I slash without mercy. Ooh, clean. They all said something similar to that with with create a theme, so to speak. Though it varied from studio to studio. It is weird like that, man. I think that's that's kind of like why... What, so one thing that I noticed, like, throughout my entire career, and it never ever changed, was is that... It's hard when you're on the outside to know what to do, because each studio has its own way of doing things and each studio has its own preference and unless you kind of like decide like I, I i that's the studio for me and unless you decide that and then know exactly what they want and craft something for them you're kind of just twisting in the wind you know you're kind of just hanging there going like well i'm gonna make one of those and i'm gonna make one of those and i want to show people that i can do that so i'm gonna make that I'm gonna make one of these and then you you show it and they're just like yeah we would like to see a whole folio of that and you're like oh you mother f right it just it's just uh sometimes you can get by an ancient curse pass for part four. Oh, here we go it's done Let's save this. Let's see what happens here. I think I'm going to have to kill these Hell Knights. Baroness, how did you get here? Who told you about this place? I demand answers. Why she talk like that to you? She important her than you? Knock knock looks back and forth between you and Linksia as though comparing. Darwin told me where to look for you. I don't have to explain anything to you. Not this time. The interests of the Order of the Rack demand straight answers to my questions. And I will have it the easy way or the hard way. Darwin told me where I looked, where to look for you. What? How did this happen? When? Where is he now? 
I don't have to explain anything to you. Oh no, you won't avoid the question so easily. Hell Knights, to battle. Yes! <gasps> oh, nice work, dude. Treason. To battle Hell Knights. Keep Darwin alive, but kill the rest. Oh. I told you these guys weren't... Dude, look. Look at that alignment. These guys are not good, man. These guys are freaking evil. Look at it. Lawful evil. Lawful evil. Lawful evil. Lawful evil. These guys are freaking... Yeah, man. We're done with that. We're over this. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Just cloud kill in here, kill Dumra, just wipe out. All right, let us all focus here. Let you cast. Wait, did he just drop? Hell Knights, cover my back. Oh no, what's happening here? Wait, did he die? I hope he's not dead, otherwise I'm just going to load this again. Oh god, I didn't know. So it's come to this. Wow, I did not know that. Yep. Whoa. Okay, we need to prepare a little bit before we go in there. Oh no, we can't. Oh, we can't actually prepare. Oh, crap. <sighs> Interesting. We've interrogated the capital's population, but no one provided any solid clues. Now we move our investigation to the neighboring villages. I'll find Darwin, whatever it takes. Today, tomorrow, in a week or a year, he won't escape me. Uh, okay. Knock, knock. First of all, my man, you're going to do that.
Okay, so this is where the summons happen, right? A whole bunch more of them. So there's four more. Wait, pause. So should she just gap it out here? Dimension door? So there's five more. Two more wizards. Three more fighters. So these guys... I feel can make a run for this side. Old Von Hammerhands is about to get clapped. Do not Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's one more. Not, not used to lighting enemies on fire first. Uh, good, you dead. Repent. You are gone, son. I love it. Darwin just kind of like casually gets up, right? Walks away. Hey, Dumra, sorry about that. Sorry about all this mess. Whoops. Steel helm. My daughter is interested in learning computer graphic arts. Any tips? Um, how old is she? Full plate. What is this? Ah, uh, it's just a full plate plus one. Longsword plus one. Resistance plus one. Same, 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 same. Hell knights everywhere. Okay, collect all. Collect all. Just one second, guys. Hang on a minute. Lane has just popped in. Alright guys, just one second. I need to go and rescue my dog. He's on the other side of the fence, as usual, right? On the wrong side of right. So let me go and uh, sort this out and I'll be right back. Hang on a minute.
All right. Sorry about that. Yeah, he's just... Uh, couldn't figure it out. I think he just jumped the fence. Unbelievable. Hell Knight of the Wreck. Remove curse. Um, ancient curse has been done. Deal with the devil. Deal with the devil. Maybe wait until the dog poops on the other side of the fence before bringing him back. No, it's still in our yard. We've kind of got it like separated, right? We've got it separated into kind of like two areas and he just ends up on the other side. <sighs> on the side he's not meant to be. Right, like a classic dog. I thank you for your help. Without you, I'd never been able to deal with this fanatic. I hope you'll forgive me for the little show I took the liberty of putting on. After all, the results weren't bad, wouldn't you agree? Anyhow, it seems I owe an explanation again. That's beginning to become a habit. Uh, but before I forget, please accept this modest reward. You've earned every bit of it. Explain yourself. I'm listening. You do remember the whole story I told you earlier, right? About the duel with the Chalice Noble and the rebellion which followed his death? You see, that whole story has one little additional piece. Well, not so little to be precise. Here we go. His name is Mammon, and he's one of the Archdevils, the Ardent Prince, or so I've been told. He's made a pact with me, and I'm having trouble upholding my side of the bargain, and his patience grows thinner by the day. Oh! <gasps> That Chalish Noble had a pact with Mammon too, which I expect is commonplace for the Chalish Nobility. And the Noble was in no hurry to fulfill his end of the deal either. By killing him, I earned Mammon's gratitude and he offered me a similar pact. A handsome sum of gold and my cherished dream come true. That's what he promised, so how could I say no? Oh god. Really, dude? Oh, man. Uh, what was the point, dude? I'm to become a king, no more, no less. The subjects of my kingdom are supposed to worship Mammon as their official deity and pay taxes to his temples. It's not so difficult a task, I suppose, especially if you have enough money. The only problem is Lynx here. The moment I lay my kingdom's first cornerstone, I'll become an easy target. She'll instantly find me and promptly introduce me to all her torture devices. However, I fear that soon I'll have to take the risk and establish my kingdom nevertheless. Mammon is growing restless, and in the end I'd rather risk facing Lynx here than challenge him. What do you want from me? I think I'm just going to abandon this guy. Right? Help me get rid of Lynx here once and for all. Of course, your help will be amply rewarded. I can be very grateful. I've heard enough. So what do you say? Will you accept my offer? Get out of my barony at once, and don't let me catch you around here again. Uh. I don't care to help you, you're on your own. Unfortunately, you can't just retreat from all this. I have an obligation to establish a kingdom, so that is what I must do. I have nowhere to run. After I make my whereabouts known, Lynxia will come for me. This is inevitable. The only open question is what role will you play in our confrontation? I suppose all I can do about that is wait until uh, wait and see then. Until then, farewell. Yeah, dude, I'm not playing those games. Yeah, I don't want to take sides in that. Well, I already have, but... I think I want to fight both of them. You gotta stop them portals appearing in your yard somehow? I know, man. What the hell? It's really mysterious, too, because there's no, like, clear way for him to have gotten over that side of the fence, right? He just appeared over there. The gates haven't been pushed over. 
freaking bizarre, man. Okay, so hopefully that's put an end to that. Um, now I've got to get to the bald hilltop, resolve this thing, right? Holy smokes, man, this just doesn't end. It doesn't end. Whew. It's tough being an adventurer. Hell Knights are lawful evil, and I guess they're going to be a major faction in the Wrath of the Righteous. Linksia is asking around about Darwin. Linksia ceases interrogating your people. Yes, that's right. Evil prankster. Lindsay. Oh, yes. Uh, you know what? Uh, screw that. Let's just save it. Yeah, no, let's do it. One day and then six days. Very good. I suspect the dog may have an accomplice. <laughs> they do actually do a very good job of working together. That's one of the key problems. The unexplainable happens, man. When they when they get together, it's like it's like this, right? So our boy, he's he sleeps in a kennel, right? He has to be kenneled. Because he will just all night he'll be awake and he'll chew and destroy anything, right? The girl, she's not like that. She will just chill and go to sleep, right? But what happens is is that sometimes, right, he will end up with something inside of his kennel. And it is in a billion pieces. And there's only one way. One way. The girl's sitting there like. And he's in his kennel like. Oh shit. I'm in trouble. But it's like. Man. Come on. How stupid do you think I am? <laughs> These guys are partners in crime man. And I can tell she's just like. Look what he did. Look what he did, man. He destroyed that thing. I'm like, that thing was across the other side of the room, right? You think I'm stupid? Huh? I know you went across there. You grabbed that thing. You came across and you put it in the kennel, right? You you put it within reach of him and he just like reached out with his paw, right? Just like, oh, man. They're a team and they know it, man. Oh, they know it up to freaking no good man no good anybody that's got two dogs will know what I'm talking about they try to work together to take us down Baked spider legs? Which what should I do here? Plus one bonus to AC. Hell yeah, let's go for that. I have two dogs and they're absolute angels. How dare you besmirch my babies? Oh. No mischief, huh? You got lucky. I am so grateful to fate for giving me a chance to repent. Repent? Why do you imagine treachery is something that can be repented? Repent, huh? Fate didn't offer you that chance. I did, man. Wow, you guys freaking... Wow. You needed to roll a four, dude. Jeez. You failed that. Unbelievable. 
couldn't even roll a four, you freaking bums. It's okay. I'll allow it. How am I holding up to you guys, by the way? Do I seem a bit different today? Do I seem out of sorts? Not, not ears. With ears. Am I not paying attention? Am I a bad streamer today? I'm listening. Three hours sleep, man. I don't feel tired. What's that? Same as usual. Let's get a heroism on him and a heroism on knock knock. Slightly lower energy, I think. I see no difference between sleep deprived hairs and well rested hairs. That's funny. That's good to hear. I must be doing something. Must be doing something right. Okay, here we go. Let's see what the deal is here, huh? Wait, why is it still quick saving? Come on, man. There we go. There we go. Isn't today your energy drink day? It is. I've already, I've already put it down, man. I've already sunk it. Let us strike as one. You should have run. That freaking uh, back attack, huh? Back attack, smack attack. This could get interesting. Whoa! What the hell was that spell? Dude, that looks really cool. Leafless lady and a boogeyman. I don't know what's going to be more powerful. That boogeyman. Let's, let's try and take the boogeyman first. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, there's two. Dude, I didn't even see that. Oh, my God. I did not see that at all. That was my bad. Uh, oh wait, no, is, is that summoned? Um... Damage reduction of 10. Okay, now that I know what to prepare for. Uh, 
there's a new flavor of monster called Mule, which is ginger brew. Interesting. Right here, my friend. Interesting. Uh, I don't know whether that was poison, but I'm going to drop some of these. I'm going to drop another one of these. Can drop that here. Uh, I'm going to go protection from... What were those? Are those evil? Protection from evil communal? Oh, wow, it's only a minute. My bad. Uh, ball strength mass. Um, I am going to... Just one second, guys. Hang on a minute. My dogs are barking. Sorry about that, there was like a cat. Some other cat like rocking around out there. Man, I can't catch a break, dude. I can't catch a break, man. Cake, what's up, man? How are you, dude? Free cat. Yeah, show you does have friends, that's right. Don't hesitate. Let's finish them quick. Let us strike as one. This will hurt. Okay, so here is the second group. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to... You should have run. Right at this point... Okay, so you guys can focus here. Boogeyman. Two boogeymen. Interesting. Um, if 
I go like this? Oh, dude, they're all... So what is the... What is this? Confusion. Uh, do I have like a cleanse or anything like that? A burst of glory. So I didn't learn cleanse. Archon's aura. Maybe it's this one. Maybe I should have done this first. This may have been helpful. Damn it. This is bad. Um, all these mind spells, man. Super hard to protect against. Be easier if you not fight back. Like, who is this one over here? That's a summoned uh, Nereid. Why is she taking damage? Which knife to use? You hurt my head. Done. What's going on? Still taking massive heat, huh? This is for you. Victory. What's wrong with you guys? Whoa, whoa, whoa! My path at an end. Holy crap! Wait, what the hell are these guys hit with? Is it just injury? Oh crap, Valerie's about to die. Are you kidding me? God, why can I not control my team? Crushing despair. That's what I do. I have no idea what the hell that that confusion doesn't like hurt yourself so why is he taking damage is he like fighting himself is that what's happening maybe nah. Why is this happening? Like, I actually want to know what that skill is. Oh my god. No, dude, knock knock. If he actually kills... If he actually kills someone, this is going to be so freaking bad. Are 
Are you freaking kidding me? Dawnflower, grant me strength. Oh my god. That was so close. Move her away from him? I couldn't. I couldn't control her. She was confused. Headband of mental perfection plus six. Oh my god. Speed composite longbow plus two. I think that was probably worth the speed composite longbow. It's the aura that the, the boogeyman give off. Was it just confusing aura? What's going on? Why is the wolf attacking the others? Oh, they they were confused. But what was happening is, is that they were they were taking damage like as they were just standing there. They were taking like three damage, and I couldn't figure out where that was coming from because they didn't appear to be hacking uh, like attacking themselves. So it was just like it was almost like per round they were taking damage, but on their actual character, the only thing that it said was that. They were confused. Oh, sorry. Was that they had bewildering attack. That's it. So that was a little weird. We sorted that out. Nice. Uh, wait, we have time to prepare for the next attack from the bald hilltop? Huh? Wait, there's gonna be another attack from the bald hilltop? To show you and your doggos get along. Yeah, so our cat, one of our cats and one of our dogs, they grew up together. And they get along perfectly fine. Like 100%. They can like be right next to each other and kind of play with each other. And they can kind of run around together. It's actually really cool. Uh, but our other dog, the newer one, uh, which is our boy, Shepard, he, he just plays way, way, way too rough, man way too rough so him not really deal long spear plus one look at all these long swords man speed composite longbow think again oh. mental perfection oh wait holy crap that's way better than what I thought it was intelligence wisdom and charisma oh my god Dude, that thing is freaking unbelievable. 
Holy crap. Wow. Okay. Wow, you just got a huge upgrade. God damn. Does anybody else need intelligence? She needs charisma as a bard, right? Twenty seven int. No, I'm about to get up and start making my dinner, though. I'm getting up right now. Okay. What you have right now. Sorry, guys. I know it's a quiet night tonight, but um, I'm gonna make some dindins. Then we'll be then we'll be back, and I will. I love you, stream. Lol. You guys are amazing. Cosmic. Cosmic is the only one there. He's saying hello. Alright, give me a second. I gotta sort out sort out who's gonna be wielding this. Wow. This one deals 2d6, additional 2d6 acid. 11 to 31. 9 to 16. I wonder if I... I wonder if an extra attack... I wonder if an extra attack would be better. I don't know if it would be better. Four attacks per round. Or three attacks per round at higher damage. Oh, tricky man. 21, 16, 11, 24, 24, 19, and 14. Or oh, Cake's there, and Truly Notorious is there too. Um... That's a really difficult choice to make, man. That's a damn good bow. Composite longbow. What is this? That's a composite longbow as well. Always extra attacks. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Much lower damage output though. Right? But... but much higher attack rolls, so hitting more often and one extra attack per round. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with that one for a little bit. We'll see how we go. It's pretty damn cool. Okay. Oh, I can rest from outside the barony. When in doubt, follow the style factor. Oh. Yes, we did it. Man, we have caught up with everything. It's about time to start exploring into the new land. Okay, hang on a minute. Wait. Mem Wobble Ganger has, has shown up. Alright, I'm going to make myself some dinner, right? And then uh, I'll be back in a little bit, right? And then we'll sink into exploring the new lands, fighting some new beasts. All right, catch you guys in a little bit. Get some snacks. Get some caffeinated beverages going.
Oh, sorry about that. I missed everything. I missed everything. Modermi. Hey, thank you so much for that, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for the raid, dude. Welcome, everybody. Sorry, I'm late. I was just making my dinner. <sighs> Amaru. Thank you for the 150 uh, pointy bits, man. Oh, you can't actually see what the hell's on that plate, can you? Damn it. Huh. All right. Now I'm going to eat. Okay. I apologize. I know, man. I know. It's been one thing after the other. First, my doggies escaping. It's a big plate of stir fry noodles, right? Fresh noodles with like a bunch of, um, bunch of vegetables, broccoli, green beans, carrots, right? And cauliflower. And then some, uh, some rosemary, rosemary and herb like sausages on the top. Got to get that fat and protein combo, you know? A big mound of like veggies and carbs. Just a little smattering of deliciousness. Has your habit of constantly needing to sustain your life through the consumption of food is really starting to bother me? Oh my god, okay. Jesus. Who let the dogs out? Bah. Helios. Looks delicious. Whatever it is. Hey, thank you, man. Just had to go and rustle it up, you know? I'm at that age where I've got to... Cook good things, man. If I don't... I just end up blowing out like crazy. Streaming all this time. We'll wait while you fill your biofusion reactor. Yes. That might be the largest plate of noodles that I've ever seen. Yeah, there's probably... It's probably like a 900 calorie plate, I guess. Something like that. Eight or 900. Well, do me head to raid and bounce, but I need some sleep. Hey, man, thank you again, dude. I appreciate that. Get some rest, man. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, for anybody that's come through from... Um, or Dermy stream. I apologize for my chat. I truly, I apologize. Except for Amaru. Alright. Everybody else, though. Shady, man. Can't be trusted. You've just stepped into the wrong place, man. <laughs> My chat is like the dark alleyway you don't want to walk down. Okay. You know, when you're alone at night, you're walking home through the city and you're like, man, I could take that shortcut, but. Hmm. That's my chat. Right? That is my chat.
Pears actually needs a near constant supply of prune juice to survive. Oh. True. I made these awesome breakfast sandwiches today. Cheesy egg, red onion, arugula, cholula. Wait, what's what's cholula? Hot sauce? Avocado on an English muffin. Oh. Man, that sounds phenomenal, dude. Oh. You had me at cheesy egg. But it just got better. Right? Red onion. Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Hmm. Never follow has chat shortcuts, especially for tax returns. It's best to just avoid the advice handed out on this channel. By the chat, not by me, man. I'll keep you right on the straight and narrow, okay? I'll never lie. Always tell the truth. All Cosmic does is uh, set up charities, right? Charities. And embezzles all of the funds. He has money in walls across the galaxy, man. In fact, his money is probably in the in your walls, right? End of discussion. My walls hold on better grab myself a hammer start working it man let me know how it goes start swinging man take random shots at the wall in different locations right one in the top left one in the center bottom right just a little bit left of the bottom right it's in there trust me yes You laugh in the faces of the homeless. Man, you are truly chaotic evil, dude. Heinous acts. Deplorable. Disgusting. Okay, I just got a free gift to check out what that is. <clears throat> oh, 
Wow, that's pretty cool. Hey, hang on. Does that stack with this? It doesn't, right? There's no way. Yeah, I didn't think so. It should work for me though. Because I don't have a shield. Yes! That is cool! That's awesome, dude. Finally, I've got some AC! Hell yeah. I'm moving on up in this world. What's my helm? Oh, um, the Paragon of Defenders. Pretty cool, found it the other day. Or yesterday? I can't remember. Okay, what try what kind of troubles are here? Right, I'm nearly finished, we can get back to focusing on the game. Replace the top hat. Yeah, I gave the top hat to Ekin. Oh, wait. There's something else I have to do here. Now we do this, right? That's right. Let me save it. Let me get this land. I'm mildly interested to see what the Anthem Complete Overhaul will be. I gotta admit, I am too, man. I definitely am. Look, I, like I was saying earlier, dude, Bioware is kind of all but dead to me now. Right? They, they really are. So they're at the bottom. They've fallen so far, so they can't really... For me, personally, they can't really do anything that would make me care any less. They're at the bottom. So anything that they do that's positive, I'm gonna be like... Hey man, awesome dude. Hope is raising. Yes, that part is ours now. You belong to me. My lands are growing. A disaster? No. Oh, we reroll that.
Oh, God. <gasps> Lucky I saved it. I need to go find Armag's tomb. Wow. Purchase 120 BP. I wonder if just doing that saves, saves that event. Or is it still going to pop up? I wonder if I should do that. Save it and see. Oh, damn it. Ah, oh. okay, I can't. Alright then, well I'm just gonna, uh... In due time. Wait a minute, wasn't there two different ways to find Armag's tomb? J4, there we go. 250. Or maybe it's just one or the other. It's tricky, man. Tricky. This is the longest game I've seen you play on the channel. It must be a really good game. It is a very good game. Um... Unfortunately, it's not doing... It's not doing my channel any, any benefit... But I don't, I don't, I don't really worry about that. Like this is the worst my channel has done in a long time. Just play Fortnite has like a real gamer, I know, I know. It's just not particularly engaging to watch. Six hundred and thirty one legends think otherwise. I remain eternally grateful to every single person who subscribes. 100%. No benefit. What I like to chill stream. No, no. For me, it doesn't. I mean, 
robots like <clears throat> robots run all of this stuff right behind the scenes and the more that your channel grows the more that it ranks your your channel into places where that will be seen more things like that right it's not it's nothing that you or me can control just behind the scenes it's how that stuff works It's kind of like the natural order of things, right? Things that are taking off and things that are happening and exciting just get elevated. Everything else just kind of like falls away. So technically, while I'm having a good time and enjoying the hell out of this game. Behind the scenes, my channel suffers technically. It's got nothing to do with money. Zero. It's only to do with, like, numbers, which is, thankfully, not something I care about. Otherwise, I definitely wouldn't be doing this. Wait, truly notorious. Was it you who was asking about your daughter this earlier on? Artwork and, and your daughter? Did I miss something? I feel like I got swept away because of my doggies. You should only be playing the newest and best games. Were you in here when that guy came through? When I was playing Baldur's Gate? He said exactly that. Oh, first year of uni. Okay. Um, first of all, is it? I'll be straight. I'll be straight and real, man. In order to survive, what? What kind of? Hang on a minute. No, I got to take a step back. What kind of area does she want to work in? Like, has she given any indication to you of like? what she wants to do like is it kind of like a graphic design thing does she want to like design like billboards posters does she want to do like product design does she want to like do you know or is it more of like a very artsy thing illustration comics cartoons Animation, so 2D or 3D animation? Because all of these things are so, so different. I think I'm just going to walk around, you know? Oh, the freaking null marshes, though. Okay, I will try. No preference at the moment. Um, If there's no preference, I would say... for her to try and figure that out because they are so vastly different and they are so they require such different skill sets um that it doesn't hurt to like start this early trying to figure out like which 
which one that she likes more. Um, and then once once she actually figures out which area she likes and enjoys more than the other, that's the time to start like really like zooming in on the skills that need to be developed because um yeah one is very 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 heavily based on your artistic skills basically and 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 developing like if she wants to be a 2d animator she should pretty much right like now be drawing every day like just filling sketchbooks drawing drawing people on the bus drawing people everywhere that she goes just constantly drawing pets animals people doing things like you guys at home just constantly making up little goofy cartoons and and learning about like anatomy and form and perspective and all this kind of stuff um just building a, a constant habit of drawing but that stuff helps with 3d animation but 3d animation is a is a very very technical skill it's a whole different skill set um which requires like a completely different yeah completely different focus of learning i feel i'm gonna try one thing here just to make sure just to confirm in my head whether or not this this affects anything i forgot can't do it okay it's time to go explore. Are uh, we good? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, Cosmic, I don't know if you... I don't know if you are making a, a, a funny yet. Um... It's something that happened in my stream a, a few months ago, at least. Um, because it, it kind of sounded like it. But there was a... Um, there was a dude that popped into my stream when I was playing Baldur's Gate, and he said... He came in and he was just like, what the hell is this old game? Something like that, right? That was his opening line first, but never seen this person before. Just came into the stream and just said that. And uh, I was like, oh, it's Baldur's Gate. It's just a remake, right? They've, they've just re-released a game. It came out like 20 years ago. It's awesome. Like gave him, gave him the whole spiel, right? How cool Baldur's Gate is and all the stuff. We're just reliving it. And we're replaying it for the stream, blah, blah, blah. And his response was exactly what you said. He was like, streamers should only be playing the latest game. The latest games. And he was something, it said something, and then he summed it up with something like, uh, bad streamer, uh, good luck. And then just left. <laughs> I was like, holy crap, dude. Yo. <gasps> Oh, I remember that. It was really weird. Oh, you were there, Kenner Boy. And that's funny, dude. That's freaking hilarious, man. He has a great sword. Look at that. I think I'm going to buy it. Mm. Left this plane of existence. <laughs> oh, wow. A speed key. Dude. That is better than the bow that I just got. Oh, God. Shock. Thundering trident plus two. Plant bane flaming sickle. I find that hilarious that the sickle is, has a plant bane. That is hilarious. Mithril speed scimitar plus two. Oh my god, that is Drizzt's weapon right there. It just needs to be keen. 
And that corrosive flaming battle axe, that is phenomenal. That is so great, man. Ray blocker. Half plate of stability. Days and shaken. Leather armor of greater cold resistance. 30 cold resistance. What? I wonder how many streams that guy visited that day saying the same thing. It's a weird, right? I don't really know why there's people like that, man. It's really bizarre. Part of me, part of me feels a little sad because I, I feel like, I feel like they just want some kind of attention, you know? They just want, they're, they're, they're like looking for something. I'm about to spend 32,000 on the greatsword. Easy. Easy, man. Right? Simple. I'm going to replace that standard greatsword plus two with the ly Lycanthrope Bane greatsword plus two. I'm keeping the shock and I'm keeping endless war. Right? So I'll, I'll sell him. I'll sell my greatsword plus two. Get a 2k for it. Nice. God damn it. Imagine this guy just... He's just like, oh, I'll give you 2k for that. Cool. It's now worth 8k. Like, Jesus. God damn. It took a second, man. Alright, this is bothering the shit out of me. I never understood people that do that. They feel the need to go up to a stranger telling them they're doing it wrong. Yeah, it's, it's a funny thing, right? There's all kinds of folks, man. And it's funny because when you stream, you just kind of like open up to all that, you know? Can't help it. So here's a question. Sid Meier's Pirates, RPG or no? Ooh, you mean like the original? Or you mean like the one that just came out recently? I need to catch my breath. Use rations. Okay, I'm not making that. Let's make a hearty meal. Might just standard. Saving throws. The old school Sid Meier's Pirates. Oh, man. Tough question, but I used to play that game a lot. Reach Amag's Tomb. The twice-born warlord. What? Oh no. The Glenabon Uplands. Where is that? Are we is this the Glenabon? Glenabon. Country Road, Raspberry Gully. Mysterious Shrine, this is where I'm going. Yes. Fail quest, I know. Dude. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. Where now? Something bothering you? Ultra Bici. Ultra Bici. 
Travisi. What's the hold up? I think I want to memorize more heroisms with her. Can I get more? What is this? Just a standard fireball? I think I'll get rid of that. I'll get one more heroism for me. Uh oh oh <gasps> wait what the hell oh no what is that time is a as <sighs> a as a precious commodity and it is man I'm there oh I see what this is okay okay you freaking bums The nearly erased inscription reads, You won't forgive us, my queen, neither, neither will we. Whoa, 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 what the hell? Don't leave the megaliths, they must be placed in correct order, this will loosen my chains. What the hell? I was betrayed by my faithful. Now I seek, seek help from a stranger. The ravenous queen? What? What is the correct order? What is even the megaliths? Where are they? In due time. What in the hells? I can't actually move it any other way. How may I help? Head on. I'm listening. Ooh. It's just a straight up number puzzle. Confide in me. You won't forgive us, my queen, neither will we. You won't forgive us, my queen. Neither will we. A megalith is a large stone that has been used to construct a structure or monument, either alone or together with other stones. The adjective megalithic describes structures made of such large stones without the use of a mortar or con concrete, as well as the periods of prehistory characterized by such constructions. Thank you, Cosmic. I appreciate that. Um, wow, I have no clue what the hell that is all about, man. Holy crap.
let's leave that one there for the time being. Because I will literally just be standing there like a bunch of hooliganisms, right? Ready and willing. Share your trouble. Um Yeah, let's get out of here. Oops. Now that we know what's here. Oh, let me get my Google Sheet going. Hang on a minute. Now that we're going into unknown territories and lands, I need to open this back up. Okay, I can't. Can't mess this up, man. It's against the law. What's this place called? Um, Mysterious Shrine, I think, right? Sepulchre of Forgotten Heroes. Uh, ooh, okay, so we did this one. Stranger is still there, nothing else for now. Um, Temple of the Elk. Dun. Vanhold. Dun. And what was this place called? Mysterious Shrine. Um, megalith puzzle, no clue. There we go. I'm such a nerd. Such a nerd. Let's go to Country Road, man. Um, Ross. What's up, dude? So have you been up since the announcement? I have, man. I have, dude. Feel free to discuss, man. Right? I don't mind. Anybody wants to share their thoughts? Feel free. Wolves got to the poor horse, harnessed to the cart as it was. Oh. Wait, skillfully crafted stone golem. Consider me. Let's provoked. finish them quick. Easy. Let us strike as one. Nine hundred sixty XP. Oh, a hat. Marksman's headset. And an unsent letter. My darling, I'm writing this while taking a rest stop into the Glenborn, a Glenaborn wilderness. Don't be surprised, but I finally decided to get out of Pytax. I'll miss the magical potion, uh, dear Khan Viril cells. But that's fine, I brought a supply of it with me. It'll come in handy when we celebrate our reunion. As for my homeland, things are getting worse and worse there. Erovetti's appetites grow. The guards are fighting with the Thieves Guild. The old trade houses keep making new schemes. And even the Academy of Arts has been said to have some new free thinkers appearing from time to time. I'm sure that the pot will boil over sooner or later, and I'd prefer not to be there when it does. I also look forward to seeing you. In the meantime, in the meantime, I got wrecked by my stone golem. Sorry about that. What's this hat, man? Plus five competence bonus on perception. When the wearer uses deadly aim feet, it provides an additional plus two bonus to attack roll. Oh my goodness me. Oh, sorry. Little burp right there. Snuck that one out, right? Dinner was great. Thanks for asking. Competence bonus on perception skill checks. His perception is... JP, how are you awake, dude? The teleportation part was so cool, I didn't expect that. The freaking bow strings. The trailer looked amazing. The trailer looked amazing. The game... 
the game the graphically the game looks phenomenal dude but it's divinity original sin 3 i i that's where i sit right now i'm still playing it. i'm still playing it, guaranteed because i know it's going to be good and i and i know that the story is going to be good um but yeah it's it doesn't feel like Baldur's gate I'm not sure who to equip that to. Does he even use deadly aim? Oh, that just looks so good on him though, doesn't it? Jeez, man. All skill checks. Oh god. It's like I want to keep that hat available at all times. At all times. The dead wizard looks strangely peaceful. You can see no wounds or bites on the body. That's because you got crushed to death by a stone golem, man. I do what I must. You fell asleep during the gas baggery. Weak ground you down. Don't know why I'm awake. Only 2 a.m. though. Oh, damn, dude. Need more sleep? Need more sleep, dude? I'm off. Funko! What's up, man? How are you, dude? Thank you for the raid, man. Welcome, everybody. Jolly does that. Hello, hello. Manfred, what's up, dude? Suffix, welcome, welcome. Hey, guys, welcome. What were you streaming tonight, dude? In due time. Hello, 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 hello. Are you excited for Baldur's Gate? Oh man, I woke up this morning. I streamed at an ungodly hour. Right? I'm there. I was streaming at 8 a.m. My time, local time. Oh man. I was barely awake, dude. I achieved the unachievable. I'm running on three hours sleep, man. So I'm, I'm like... But uh, it feels like Divinity Original A Sin. Legend is born. It feels it feels like Divinity Original Sin three to me. That's I'm still gonna buy it. Look look before anybody gets salty. Before anybody's like, oh, yes, man, you're just full of shit, man. Right? You, you mean you don't know what the f I'm talking about? Before anybody's like that, I'm still buying it. I'm still playing it day one. I want to play it, but feels like Divinity Original Sin 3. Looks like Divinity Original Sin 3. Doesn't feel like Baldur's Gate. I summed it up, dude. I made a little YouTube video, right? Yeah, a little bit of self, uh, a little bit of self, um, little bit of self pluggage right there there you go i made a little youtube video i threw it up this morning i i'm not brave i checked the comments like three hours ago but i haven't gone back since and i and i got a feeling there's a few probably salty uh, salty dogs in there it's gonna be a it's gonna be a hornet's nest i know it man it's it's completely divided it's completely divided the audience i know that much I enjoy the time I spent. It's a great game, dude. DOS 2 is awesome. DOS 2 is a great game, man. I, I think it's an awesome game. I, I I need to go back and I need to finish that game. I'm excited. 
I'm excited to do that. I really am. I shall end this suffering. But saying, but saying, uh, oh, Sly TQ, hey, listen. Sorry, look, I got carried away and I'm sleeping. Sly TQ. Legend. I'm pointing as if it was still there. Okay. It's like a. It's like a minute or two delay reaction though, but I, but just imagine the legend thing is still like, sh like shimmering up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. For me, it's probably easier because I haven't played a Ball's Gate since the 90s. I, I think, I think what they've done, there's a lot of salty dogs, man. Uh, they Dude, the YouTube, the actual YouTube chat. Oh my God, dude. The YouTube chat was just a toxic mess, dude. It was like, forget it. it oh my God, dude. Like, I didn't have any problems with that entire presentation. I, I enjoyed every minute of it. I was barely talking to my chat because one, I was half asleep. And the other time I was just like, I was just like watching Sven play and I was just absorbing everything, man. Every little move, every little nuance. I was just trying to absorb it to see, you know, how it was going to roll out. Um, But yeah, yes, yes, Sly TQ, you can have your level two. Let's step in, step in right here. Look, get in here. All right, you've been waiting for this for three months, right? No more daggers for you. Okay, you've already got two. Now you got one of these. Level two. Wooden buckler. Yeah, it's a shield. Right? Plus five armor, three percent chance to deflect all incoming damage. Yes, that's for you. Right there. Legendary. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for doing that. You're the best. It's going to be a good game regardless. I agree. Helios, I agree. The buckler band grows by the day. Oh, man. I want to be a shop in his world. Oh. <laughs> Don't you worry about that, right? We're gonna be grow. Wait, these are level ten goblins. All right, these guys may have some skill. That goblins made into peanut butter. Very good. Yeah, stink again. Think again, goblin. Wait, goblin commando, level ten fighter. Man, these guys aren't bad. Whoa! Wait! See your light. Oh no, dude. Oh man, these guys have got some skills. Hang on, you, you, you. I'm getting threatened by a group of goblins. Can you believe that? I shouldn't have been laughing at these goblins, huh? I just hope it gets more of the Baldur's Gate look by the time it comes out. Same. I think there's... there's I mean, you're always going to... There's always going to be a weird thing when you revitalize a really... Like, think if... if if there's anyone that doesn't understand why people are like, maybe like upset, right? Just think of your favorite, your absolute favorite game, right? Your favorite game of all time. And let's say, right? Let's say, or, or a favorite game from your childhood, 
right? Whichever game that is. And you say, this is my favorite game. Imagine it gets, after 20 years, it gets rebooted by somebody new. And you are so excited, man, that it's that, that your game is coming back and they remake it, right? And it's not like the originals. That's all. It's not like... It's crap. There's just that little... There's that niggly thing that makes you just be like, why? Why did you change it? Like, why, why did you, like, tilt it? Why did you try to, like... You could have just bought it forward in the future. You could, you could have just... You know, why did you mess with it? And that's all. That's all it is. And, and that... If, that upsets a lot of people, man. It really does. Not me. I'm not upset. Because... I'll be playing it. I'm just not as hyped as I actually was for the game because I wanted it. I wanted it to be what I wanted it to be, especially after seeing this game. This game to me feels much more like Baldur's Gate than than what I saw today. So, yeah. Still, I enjoy it. I'll be playing it. It may be that they're reusing a bunch of assets from Divinity just to get a playable version up off the ground that aren't still going to change. I hope so. I really hope so. That will do... That will do a lot for me. Personally, that will do a lot for me. Uh, I'm going to camp here. I'm using rations. Yeah, okay. The bowstring came undone again. I feel that way every time they do a Terminator movie. It's just... It's not so much that I didn't enjoy the movie, but now that there's a new one, they aren't going to try and make a new one for quite a while, so I have to wait a longer time to hopefully get the thing that I want. Same thing as liking a book, but then seeing a movie that isn't true to the story. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Similar, similar. Was there a... A game in a reveal you were not impressed by, but it turned out to be great. Actually, this. This one right here. This game, this is why. Dude, I've been playing this game on stream, right? This, this game has absolutely hammered my stream in terms of like, I was just saying this before, in terms of like numbers, right? This stream has destroyed my, uh, this, this game has like hammered my stream, dude. My, my like level of interaction with the stream and all my like numbers right I've just like dived taken a freaking nose dive I don't care about it so it, it doesn't bother me but um yeah this this game is because I've been playing it now for like three weeks man I've been playing this game for three weeks solid every day and I'm like yes I love it but technically, if I was listening to the numbers, I would not be playing this game, man. I would absolutely not be playing this game. But I can't help myself because I like it. Welcome, friend. Yes. Wait, man, how come there's so many fights here? Ragfire. Hey, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Their life ends here. Man, what the hell's going on in this area? There's like angry monsters everywhere here. Onwards. Actually, let me let me go back a little bit. Valerie, you go up. Right, you take all the heat by yourself, right? And then once they're all on you, you we'll come through. Ah. Yeah. Hey, stop that. Oh! Man, wet, sloppy explosion oh, of meat and bone. Um. But but what about Xenoblade? Wait, what do you mean? What about Xenoblade? Still thinking they're making it like it's, it is just to appeal to a more mass casual audience. Yeah, I think so too, man. I think so too. And that, that, that kind of saddens me a little bit. 
I'd be lying if I said that doesn't bother me. But you can clearly feel that. You can see it, man. I think that was the whole purpose of Divinity Original Sin and Larian kind of like taking that approach was to make... Was to like push all the stats and the numbers and the math and the dice rolls and stuff. Just hide all of it, right? Just, just put it away. No one wants to see that. But it's just like... There's people like me who are like, dude, I'm a nerd to the core, man. And bring that shit to the forefront. I want to see all of the stats, right? I want to be drowning in stats. You know that gif with the hot dog? That 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 girl that's sitting there and all the hot dogs like fly into her face? That's me with stats, right? I'm just like, ah. <laughs> like all of this stuff right here, man. Uh, this is my world, dude. I love it, right? I'm just sitting here like, oh, yes, dude. Yeah, this is what it looks like, huh? Yes, like this is all, like this is, I love this, right? But Divinity Original Sin 2, oh, sorry. I mean, Baldur's Gate 3, right? All of this stuff is like, it's hidden. And all you have to worry about is a percentage to hit. Boom. You know, that's it. You, you don't have to worry about anything else. It's all summed up in that one little simple thing for you. And yeah, I, 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 I just personally, I, I don't jive with that as much. That's all. Raspberry Gully. Ooh. Um, the fact that you don't feel governed by the numbers is one of the best things of your channels. It means we can actually watch you really enjoy yourself. Hey, thanks for saying that, man. I appreciate that, dude. Honestly. Yeah, and, and yeah. I mean, I, I, I think that's because... I, I think that's because I'm not relying on the stream. You know what I mean? Like, I don't... Um, I don't... This, this isn't my, my, this is not what I use to live. So I haven't jumped into streaming being like, dude, I got to do anything to make these, to make this work, man. I, I got to do whatever it takes. I need to build up my, I need to pump my numbers up, man. I need to get the, like, I, I, I haven't approached it that way. And it's funny, man, because I was saying this earlier on. Um, I was saying this earlier on and I've been talking about it for a couple of days. So I'm sorry for, for the people in my chat who are, you know what? Nah, man. You guys, dude. I'm not sorry. <laughs> oh, man. You guys can take it, right? There was this there was this tweet thread the other day that I was reading about somebody who was handing out advice uh, for, like, new streamers. And it was basically... The advice was, you need to follow whatever whatever you do in your stream when you see numbers go up in your stream you need to make sure that you that you do exactly that thing over and over and over doesn't matter if you start if you play a new game and your numbers go up then you need to keep playing that game until they go down and then when it goes down switch out right try something new just keep just keep going doing whatever it whatever it takes to keep those numbers up and i was just like man that's shitty advice to me like i I would never follow that advice, like, ever, because it, it makes it a, it just, it's, it's like, it's a very robotic approach, and it's a very kind of, for me, the beginning uh, of the hunt. what the shit, Cannot hide from me. Oh. oh, okay, wait, druid, here's the message, I've been waiting for you for too long, wait, what the hell? Oh god, oh no, dude. No, you guys do this. Oh, yes. Yes, how do you like that, huh? Fucking three tentacle trees and one druid. Easy. Um. This is the abuse we deal with on a daily basis. You just need to ring a bell and keep asking people to like, comment, and smash that subscribe button. That's right. Don't forget to like and subscribe, you guys. <laughs> Jesus. Disgusting. Alright. 
I'm not completely exempt, man. I, I advertise my stream on my YouTube, on my YouTube videos, right? I pump, I pump my stream on my YouTube videos. But that's because actually I do want to build the RPG community here. I do want to build it, man. So do you want to know why? Listen, it's so you guys can have more friends, right? That's right. We've even built like a, I don't know what's happening here, but you guys, I think the other day you guys built like a freaking D&D, like you guys built like a D&D &D game amongst yourself, right? You guys actually built one. That's exactly what I'm talking about, right? That's awesome, dude. More, uh, more RPG like-minded folks is good, man. That's what I like to see. Uh, I've been lurking for a while, but I have to note that I can't see why this game was bad for the stream. It's a great game for what I've seen until now. Many games should learn a lot from this one. Now, Bella, dude, I agree. It, it's just, it's, it's not, it's a very boring game for a lot of, I, I, I'm imagining to watch it. It's very boring. May not be for some, but you know, I'm just saying generally. As you search, you notice an envelope inside the bush. It's hanging from a branch by a fine chain that runs through the envelope's black wax seal. The seal is in the shape of the skull, and the chain runs through the eye sockets. Examine the envelope closely. Succeeded. Taking a closer look, you realize the seal isn't simply black. It seems to absorb the light. There's a faint dark crystal. Uh, there are faint dark circles inscribed on the envelope around the seal. Ooh. Knowledge arcana. Try to figure out how encha the enchanted seal works. The seal itself is enchanted and will react on any attempts to either dispel the enchantment or break the seal. If the envelope is touched by anyone other than the designated recipient, it will crumble. However, if you remove the seal without touching the envelope, carefully remove the seal without touching the envelope. After some time, with the help of simple tools at hand, you manage to remove the seal. The envelope darkens and lowers, and its lower half disintegrates with a low rustling sound, but you manage to preserve three quarters of the letter. Um, I'm not doing that nearly enough. I need to advertise more. All right, I need to, I need to pump my my social media more. Get those get those amateur numbers up. I'm sure everybody would love that. All right, every five minutes taking an ad break and the, all the ad break, it's just a picture of me just going. And where I'm pointing to, there's like my social media icons, right? And then, and then like a uh, one of those like one of those clip art like hands pointing on the click to sub button, right? Click, boop, right? Every every five minutes, man, and it's a ten minute long ad break. It's a ten minute loop of me just doing that and clicking on the sub button, right? For every five minutes of stream time, that sounds amazing to me, dude. Let's make it happen. Phenomenal. I'm, I'm sure that will be fantastic for the numbers. Is this a cave or what? Can I go in this? Nope. Okay. So what was this mysterious letter then? Unsent letter? No, where is it? Um... Uh, we have rule, one rule and that is RJ is not allowed to play. Oh, There's a massive social barrier on larger streams that you're simply shouting into a hurricane of voices. It's intimidating for me at least. Really? Uh, I understand that. Sometimes too when, you, when you, you're searching for something or you say something, your comment just gets lost. Um... You can only really do that so many times, right? I never play RPG, but I enjoy watching your streams. That's cool to hear that, dude. It is cool to hear that. To Cat's Mule, hello everyone. Have you seen the reveal stream for Bulls Gate 3? Yeah, I, I, I was here streaming it like uh, 14 hours ago, man. 
We've talked about it like all day long. Does anyone know if it's using the same engine as Divinity Original Sin 2? It kind of jumped at me on how similar the UI looks to DOS 2. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. I, I made a whole YouTube video about it. Video? A whole YouTube video? Oh my god, dude. What the hell am I... Why am I talking like that? I've had no sleep. Forgive me. Phrenidius. Your craftsmanship is improving and your zeal has not gone unnoticed in Nidal. We are pleased by your success, and this means Zon Kuthon is pleased as well. The Umbral Court requires a new agent in the Stolen Lands. By Eloander's insistence, the Circle of Druids recommends you. Be proud, for this is a great honor, but it must yield results, for if you don't glorify the Midnight Lord with your deeds, you will exalt him with your death as you writhe on the rack. That, that, this is a letter of just like, man, you're awesome, dude, but <laughs> don't f*** it up, man. Otherwise, we will slaughter you. You are tasked with observing the barony ruled by Hairs von Hammerhands. That's me. Though young the state of hers may seem, it is significant in that it has survived so long, especially when measured against the countless other kingdoms that sought to rise in the stolen lands and now lie in ruin. This barony's persistence has attracted attention of many in Avistan, and Nidal cannot afford to lag behind its rivals. The Baroness's court is too small to infiltrate without risk of exposure. Instead, watch from a distance and pass along any information you can about events within the barony's borders. The second objective is a search for an artifact created by fey magic and times before memories. The Umbral Court has been searching it for a, for a long time and now... And that's... The, the rest of it got disintegrated, huh? Okay. Um... It was weird seeing Haz go live in the middle of my day at work. I, I am, I'm actually legitimately thinking about it. I'm legitimately thinking about streaming twice in a day. Uh, splitting my streams up. So instead of streaming for one long session at night, I'll stream one time in the morning and one time at night. It needs to be so annoying that everyone subscribes just to shut you up. <laughs> oh man, this guy, I'm sick of it. Take my money to shut the hell up. Raspberry Gully. Uh, let me just add this to my nerd sheet here. Ras Raspberry Gully. Uh, done. Uh, about the like subscribe in YouTube, people should have realized already that's not useful anymore. The old algorithm used it used it to recommend, but the new AI doesn't. You can't outsmart the new AI with that shit. Yeah. 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 Has is becoming more southern by the minute. I can't A new legend is born. Dude, I can't do accents, so I don't know I don't know how the hell they I don't video? Man, damn video games. Video, video games. <laughs> Justice kids. Justice, 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 Man, thank you so much for the five months, dude. Step in, dude. Look at this. Level two. Wooden buckler. Brand new wooden buckler, man, right? You want to take a few blows? Get yourself a brand new one right there. Right? Clean off the anvil, dude. We're going to take some more heat. Next month, upgrade, dude. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Um. It would cause problems for the games you like to play unless you want to play two different games. Wait, why would it cause problems? You mean streaming twice a day would cause problems for the games I want to play? Oh, what the hell? Where is it? Where am I going here? Oh, 
I've been good but busy. I started working for Silicon Era. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Well, I feel a bit better now. They're only level seven. It's it's okay. Right, it's okay. It's okay. Calm down. Calm down. Let's let them all attack uh, Valerie. Okay. Let them all attack Valerie. And then we come in from behind. Right. Freaking destroy these noobs. Ooh. Whole family of wyverns just destroyed in seconds. Oh, it's freaking exploded, dude. Oh, poor little Ogbo, he couldn't get through. I need that all that wyvern meat. I need that bad, dude. Um. Follow if you shut up and take my. Breath. I still like videos on YouTube though. I can't keep up with you guys. It's always Buckler. Buckler is from uh, Wooden Buckler is from uh, three months to six months. We it's because we have a lot of new. We've had a, a really significant growth. Of like new subscribers to my channel um in the last kind of like three months or so so yeah i mean just look in the chat like look how many level two shields you see right there i mean that's awesome i'm not complaining about that i mean i, th I think it's great Okay, okay, jeez. So you come down here. For the spot to rest. Okay, okay, okay. Quiet and down. Um, most people won't be able to follow the whole playthrough. Oh, that's a good point, Mazaziel. But I mean, it's kind of it's kind of tough, right? Like there's lots of people right now who can't who don't catch the stream at all um i don't know it, it's something to it's something to think about it's not something that i i like you know have put into place like whoa well, this is what i'm gonna do it's more like a i might experiment with that to see if it works better for me or not uh, I, I don't know yet okay kingdom let's have a look here Strengthen the storyteller's skills as a curator. Nice. Refugees. Ekin. First of the seventh. Okay, so I've got three weeks for this one. Kalid Scouts, five days. And then seven days. So five and seven. Five and then seven. Coronation. Um. The chat has woken up. Pay all your attention to us. Just go straight back into gas bag mode, right? Don't worry about anything else. Just keep talking, man. Keep talking and keep gas bagging. Nothing else matters. Streamers who split up during the day often bounce through several titles. I wonder if that could be a thing, man. I mean, it would... Could you imagine? Oh my god. Could you imagine if I was only playing four hours of this a day? We'd be playing this game for months, dude. 
months. Holy smokes. Wait, Tenacious Ma? What? Why have I never seen this before? When did this pop up? Interesting. For your audience, the night stream would have no idea what happened during the day stream. Yeah, I wonder what, I wonder what, I wonder how I'd be able to make that work. I don't know if it would work for my schedule. It's something that Leia and I actually talked about for a really long time. We've been thinking about it for a long time. Seeing if it would make better sense. For us, right? Um, no clue, just something to try and do. Right, see if it works out. Maybe it doesn't. Oh, divine favor, resist sonic, bless. Nice, I like that. I'm there. I'm off. Wait, why are you kind of acid imbued giant slug? Seven hundred and twenty XP for that thing. Nauseated. Oh man. <sighs> um. Co plays a game in the morning, another after lunch, and inserts sponsored streams here and there. Wait, so it's co streams like three times a day? I do. Holy crap. And he's a champion. Then again, he's got like family, kids. I'm there. Oh, what is this? What is that? Magical chain shirt. Assassin's chain shirt. <sighs> Ooh. What is this? Info. It's adamantine? If it's light armor, plus one damage reduction, four max dexterity bonus, eight extra AC. So anybody that wears medium, he does. Ooh. Ah, uh, nah, it won't be as good. 27 AC, 28 AC, and divine favor he looks cute with a big slug has versus rpg hazardous arts and twitter yeah, yeah, yeah so one is my art one is basically my normal twitter and has versus rpg my, my has versus rpg twitter is, is just game stuff like you won't see me sharing uh my like random thoughts or like pictures of my dogs or something like that one is, is just game content I don't really know why I've done that, to be honest, but I don't know. Just again, this is me, me just kind of doing what I, what I feel like rather than following those traditions, you know? In due time. Oh, 
I think all, technically all my, all advice would point to the fact that I, if I wanted to like maximize my viewership and everything that I would just tweet to like my 6,000 followers or whatever it is that have been, that's been built off artwork, but I don't know, it just feels, it feels disingenuine. That's why I decided to build a whole new Twitter account because it doesn't really even matter, right? Those numbers are just, it's just, it's, it doesn't matter. It's fake. It doesn't mean when you tweet something out, it does not go to 6,000 followers, man. It goes to like 20, right? That's it. And if those 20 interact, if they do something, it might go to like 10 more. And if those 10 interact, it might go to five more. And if those five, maybe one more. That's it. That's how it works. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't work any other way. It's just, yeah, it doesn't matter. But I would rather have people that go to that Twitter purely for the fact that they know what they're going to get, right? It's just, it's that simple. At least that's how it makes sense in my brain. I don't know if that's how it works for anybody else, but that's how it works for me. Okay, Tenacious March. Marsh. Let me add that to my nerd list. Tenacious Marsh. Done. Algorithms, man. Yeah, they're crazy, right? I was just trying to explain that to a uh, dude today, actually. Had a conversation about um, why why he was feeling feeling a little bummed out. Um, wait, what the hell? Is that a is this a halfling? What the hell is that? Is that a bald little halfling? Dude, that looked like a little goblin from up here. I was like, whoa. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, you go that way. You guys come this way. Also, I prefer real time with pause combat. End of discussion. I always will. Turn based, like, like that combat right there. I would be in this combat for the next like ten minutes, right? I I I particularly don't really. Uh, the last thing I think a slowish game like this needs is to slow down every combat encounter by another like factor of like three four times. Do what I must. In saying that, though, I mean, if somebody wants to play with turn based combat, I think that they should have that option 100%. Um, wait, so what I was going to say was, is uh, I was having a conversation with a dude who it was talking about like his like close friends kind of like fake friends in the art world and um well, let me just camp here he's talking about fake friends in the art world and he'd made a bunch of fake or he made a bunch of friends recently he was really happy about it but then noticed that none of them were really kind of like liking any of the artwork that he posted and they weren't really kind of like engaging with him or like you know kind of like sharing his sharing his artwork and he was always just like but in person, these guys are really nice and just getting lost in that. And I was like, dude, you know what, man? There's something something else here, right? That you may not be aware of. 
and pike stretch i was talking to him about oh okay a little story here it's gonna be cool um i was talking to him about how like the facebook one works in particular in that you know that if 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 someone becomes your friend on facebook and they don't and you make a post when they first become your friend on facebook if you make a post, your post will show up on their timeline. Right when, if, if you guys just interacted with each other, your post will show up on their timeline. If it's been a week, maybe it'll show up on your timeline. If it's been a month before they've interacted, you can make a post and it will never show up on their timeline. Just ever. Because it shuffles in to their timelines, the people that you interact with the most. And then there is those ones get shuffled to the top and then there's a bunch of kind of like slowly like random insertions but there's no way that your timeline could ever be filled with everything that all of your friends are, are posting unless you have like five friends right then maybe maybe it will but if you've got i don't know what the level is man but you know so many hundreds thousands that it just it basically picks the top 10 and then it throws randomly out of the next like 20 or something like that and that's all you get man then you get like ads tossed in between those and by the time you've got down to like the fifth or four, you know fifth or sixth ad you're like oh man i'm tapping out dude i'm sick of this closed tab and that's how it works so if people don't actually interact with you with you if they don't like your post or they don't comment on your post even though they're your friend they will never see what you type they will never see it if, especially if it's been like a month or two since they've interacted with your stuff they just won't see it but some people take that as like oh shit like maybe that guy hates me you know and it's it's like well maybe he does right <laughs> i don't want to i don't want to say you know that they don't but maybe maybe they don't but a big part of it could be the, the way that that whole algorithm works as well it's a really weird thing man fake friends know all about that oh man i have social anxiety and don't like to participate in social media because i worry about getting judged but i try to like yours and lena's posts oh that's thank you man i appreciate that i think this i think streams like this is a, is a really good way to kind of alleviate social anxiety man you know, I think it's good. Alright, check this out. While trying to cross a small river, there were tons of them in those parts. We met an old man that would be considered suspicious even by local standards. Suspicious, look at this guy. He looks charming. He had a grey beard and his straw hat sat above a head of coarse, dirty, tussled hair. The man was skillfully guiding a small raft along the river with a long pole and a fat water rat sat near his bare feet. Look at this little guy. Noticing us, the old man approached the shore and hailed us in a local dialect so strange we could barely understand him. Oh, lade. Come ride me old uh, raft over here. <laughs> what? Ah... <laughs> uh. I would never want to be friends with anyone who liked me. Oh. Uh. It's nice to meet people who are accepting and kind. It makes it so it makes it less lonely and scary. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, 100%. We asked the old man who he was. We asked him how he could help us. We bid the strange man, strange old man farewell and hurried to get as far away from him as possible. Hey man, how you doing dude? The old man set out a confusing explanation. It was difficult to follow, but we gathered that he wasn't just a river after. He was a cleric in service to a minor deity that was almost unknown outside the river kingdoms, Hanspur. Guardian of waterways and river travel, neither good nor evil, and tricky as the great Selen River itself, this god could safely guide your boat past sandbanks, rapids, and banded ambushes to your final destination. 
or drown you in the stillest backwater. Many river travelers raise prayers to him in their hour of need, but few dare worship him openly. Rumor has it that Hanspur is no stranger to human sacrifice, and he takes a toll from his followers in the collection of those who've drowned. How can you help us? Let's have a bet, eh? You're all busty, busy, hasty, trying to catch a living barbarian with a dead name. But can you dive? I'll maybe drown you a little in the fo in the Father Salon's waters. Let you know the taste of the river. If you can take it, I'll help in your searching. If not, well, that's that and we never see each other again. The game offered by this cleric was a dangerous one. One of our companions had to put their life on the line in order to get help in the search for Armag. We... Are you kidding me? You need to roll a seven, Ekin. Accept the cleric's challenge and choose a diver from among our company. Boom. The rolling in this game is pathetic. Okay. Come on, Ekin. There we go, dude. There we go. Not that hard, right? Now he rolls a natural 20. Oh, God. Ekin Dio bravely went to the old man. The cleric wasted no time grabbing Ekin by his ear and plunging him headfirst into the muddy river up to his shoulders. Water plants tickled his face and his ears filled with the whisper of sand rolling along the riverbed. Ekin took it in stride, so to speak. His lungs held air, held enough air to hang on for quite a while. A hazy vision then suddenly engulfed Ekendai's mind. He saw himself floating above the stolen lands, seeing the country from a bird's eye view. Another moment, and it seemed as though he would be able to focus his eyes and see Armag's tomb. Ekendai kept on bearing the challenge. Easy, man. Easy. Failed. Come on, man. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Skill checks. Yes. Ekin. Just for this, just for this, dude. Let me get this sorted, yeah? Succeeded. Succeeded. Yes, paying no mind to the pain in his chest or the blood rushing through his ears, Ekendai concentrated on the vision, trying his best to put it together to focus on the mad chieftain's elusive tomb. Just as he thought he would surely drown, the picture finally emerged, and when it did, everyone else saw what Ekendai was seeing. The wide and hilly Glenabon uplands, strewn with stones and carved up by small rivers. In the central part, north of Flintrock Grassland, a barely noticeable rock held an entrance like a gaping mouth that led underground. Some grim barbarians sat near the entrance as though waiting for something. This had to be Armag's tomb. We'd finally located it. If we swept through the area we couldn't miss, at least that was our hope. The old man let his victim go. Ekin pulled his head from the water as quickly as possible, gasping for air. The cleric grinned, took his pole and pushed off from the bank. He waved to us with his tan, crooked palm as he disappeared from our sight. Brilliant. Where is it? Where is it? Armag's tomb? Whereabouts? Are you kidding me? Where is it? A two-faced hill? Wait, am I missing something? It should be easy to find it now. What? Was it the two-faced hill? Oh 
wait, I think I freaking lost it, dude. Oh, no. Um. Pike stretch. Let me add this to the nerd list, right? Pike stretch. Done. What did you lose? The location? I didn't see... Like, I just saw, I just found the location of Armag's tomb, but it didn't pop up anywhere. Or at least I didn't see where it popped up, so I don't know which one. I guess I'm just gonna, like... Guess I'm just gonna, like... Starting to sit in. in due time. Okay. The sleeplessness. Wait. Sorcerer Medusa. Oh my god. This is the first time I've seen one of these. Oh no. I am for sure dead. This game could use an in-game nerd list. Jason the Art Noir. Oi, what's up, dude? How are you, man? Monstrous Humanoid. Level 20? Oh, God. Oh, God. Disintegrate? Oh my god, I'm so lucky. Holy crap, dude. What is this? What is this composite longbow? Flaming composite longbow plus one. Headband of alluring charisma plus two. Ring of protection plus two. Are you kidding me? Wow, that is so cool that, that there's just random Medusa in this game. Flaming Composite? Oh my god, dude. This is so badass. <sighs> I love that. You're st oh, I'm, just, I'm just now starting to get a lot more really great um, really great weapons. Speed composite longbow plus two. So cool, man. Um, I really love the community here. Most of my interest related friendships have been online for a long time. Forums, etc. Social media is just too faceless. You always miss stuff. Yeah, I, I agree with that, dude. I agree with that. I agree with that. It's a very weird thing. I think social media is... is um, it's a strange place, man. And... What... The, the, the weirdest thing about it is, is that there's no way to kind of like stay on top of it, as it were. You know when you... You know when you learn a skill... Um... You can, for the most part, once you've got those foundations down, it's really only kind of like small adjustments. Hearty purple soup. <gasps> purple worm cut. 
and you can really kind of like keep up with a minimal amount of effort you know but social media is not like that it's this completely different thing karma plus three it's like the the landscape is constantly changing based on how much people use it and how much people engage and it's constantly squelching things down it's like building it building dams over rivers you know the more furious and the faster and it, it runs the more the old dollar signs uh, ring in in the in the dam builders eyes right and the more that they're like, holy crap, dude, if we just tighten up this river a little bit more, oh man, we can extract that much more, you know, and it, it's constantly changing. And, and whenever somebody says, oh, all you need to do is just do this. I mean, do you remember when everybody started like hashtagging, man? And now, and now hashtags are pretty much, they just ruin you. It, it's like yeah, once upon a time when hashtags came out. The way that it initially worked was it it actually took your post and it filtered it right into that hashtag and anybody who was looking for that boom your stuff was there that doesn't work like that anymore right it's just it's just weird how quickly all of that stuff is it just goes in and out of, of fashion man like so so fast and you got to keep relearning like when you feel accomplished you're like yeah man i, I did the thing i know <sighs> No, you don't. No, you don't, dude. You don't. It's not something that can be mastered. Uh. It's easy to have a good conversation with the people here. We have things in common. Yes, that's what I like, dude. Yes. Thank you. What's up, man? How are you, dude? Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. I've been awake since 8 a.m. and it's now 5 a.m. Wait, it's 5 a.m.? Is it? I remember when there wasn't even a like button. Oh. Okay, fossil fields. I need to add that. I need to add that to the nerd list, okay? Uh, I don't know if Wicked Field was... Look, I'm, I'm, I'm just guessing at this point. I'm sorry. Is this it, Wicked Field? No one can say what causes this feeling. Oh, that sounds amazing. Mass Havoc, what's up, dude? He went back in time. I'm still struggling to see. Lol as laughing out loud and not just lol. I was around before these things were even a thing. Oh man, I understand. I understand. It's tricky, dude. Very tricky indeed. You know what I haven't done though? I haven't sorted out uh, old mate's uh, spells, man. Communal spells right here. Freaking all sorts, man. Shield of Faith. Let's get those bad boys down here. Bull Strength up here. Burst of Glory. It's that hold person that's getting that in the center. Right, Serenity. Let's pop that up there. Joyful Rapture. Let's... Uh Right, your break enchantment. Protection from energy, communal. Let's get that right there. Right, my heals. Disintegrate. Archon's aura, heal. Let's get heal over there. Elemental body. Death ward. Oh, yes.
Hey, has man, how are you? I'm good. I'm good, dude. I'm good. Barely awake, but you know, man. Sometimes you got to take one for the team. You know what I'm saying? We had to go the extra mile for the Baldur's Gate reveal today. And we went the extra mile. Oh, man, you better believe it. Right here, my friend. Man, he just cranked up for that one. Oh, 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 oh. What? Oh! Oh! Stay a while. The soup is fantastic. Is that I see no offering worthy of me you wouldn't summon a demon without preparing an appropriate sacrifice would you oh my god Donal 88 hey thank you man I appreciate it welcome I have no clue what this is and you know what's weird man we didn't prepare for this right I didn't prepare for this so I'm going in completely completely unprepared this is stupid man There's no way I'm winning this fight. There's no way. That was a level 24... Demon. The demon had a quarterstaff plus two and an adamantine icy burst star knife plus three. A Sharon demon. Worshippers of Sharon? Oh my god, dude. What the hell? Adamantine icy burst star knife. Plus three frost adamantine. Icy Burst. Wait, hang on a minute. An Icy Burst weapon functions as a frost weapon that also explodes with frost. Upon striking a successful crit, the frost does not harm the wielder. In addition to the extra damage from the frost ability, the Icy Burst weapon deals an extra D10 on a successful crit. If the weapon's critical multipliers times 3, add an extra 2D points of cold damage? Oh my god! Yo, can you use star knives, dude? Oh my god, that's one of the best weapons I've seen in the game. For raw damage power, that... That... If you could get that... Uh, down to nine... So what, what could you get that to? Nineteen... You could double that to like 17. So you could have this crit at 17 to 20. And every time he crit with this, he would probably be dealing. I mean, he's already sneak it. He's already dropping 60 crits with, with the other one back there. Um, So it would be that on top of like an extra 3d10. I th he could probably be doing like 80s with this thing. That is so bizarre. Oh man. That is so awesome, dude. And what the hell is this thing back here? I see something here. What was that? A glitch in the matrix? What is that? Are you excited for the third Trails game coming out in March? Oh, man. I heard about it, but... <sighs> uh, so, Trails... Trails... We've talked about this before. My... I haven't played any of them, man. I missed this series. 
I missed it. I missed it, dude. So now I have no reference point. I remember being introduced to the gateway drug of role-playing games when I was like 15. It was life-changing. Before that, it was Warhammer 40k and fantasy. Life-changing stuff. Hell yeah, man. The soup is fantastic. Hey, Dexos. What's up, dude? Goddamn BG3 looks insane. Looks like Divinity Original Sin 3 to me, man. <laughs> the only social media I need is Discord. True. True. Um, Unprepared? No problem. Easy. That's right. You know what time it is? ASMR sip? Oh, God. I need a liquid... A massive windstorm is raging. Tough day tomorrow. Oh, man. Is it throne or melee? I think it's melee. Right. If you dare. 1500 gold? What is this? I wonder how bad it is that I managed to translate only half the scroll for the ritual. Unfortunately, time's running out. I'll just have to sort things out on the fly. These simpletons won't know any better after all. Oh, Pax Grumetra, I'll soon rip your soul from those demons' paws, I promise. Well, I mean, that didn't work out for you. At all, dude. I'm there. Oh, I, I think it, it, it looks amazing, dude. It looks better than doing the original Sin, that's for sure. It, it, it looks like a, an upgrade. But it looks, it, to me, it looks, it looks like, it looks like, if, like, if that announcement today was for Divinity Original Sin 3, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to be like, nah, because it, it just felt, it just felt like the perfect progression from two, like, what one was to two, Two was to Baldur's Gate three. That's what that's what I feel like. It, it's like a, it's like a perfect. Um. Like, progression. That's that's all I can. That's all I can say. It it didn't feel like Baldur's Gate to me. Like not not even close. But I'll still be playing it for sure. It was so weird seeing them try to describe the divinity combat system as not being the divinity. Oh, dude, uh, that's that's kind of like and and everywhere that it's written as well, it's kind of said that, right? Um, it's kind of written like that, and I, I'm just like, like everywhere that, like every article is basically like, oh man, we're doing things that you know we've never really done before, and it's just like, I. I don't know who that's supposed to work on, man, but it looks exactly the same. I hope you guys can at least, at least be unbiased about this and see that overall in Divinity Original Sin 2, right? You have your team, turn-based combat, ranged combat, right? When you're actually playing the game, you, you move your target out. It's this person's turn. You move your target out. You click, you see a percentage chance to hit. You don't have to worry about anything else. Just see that percentage chance. Decide right in that moment whether or not you want to take it. Maybe search for some environmental. Maybe search for a way to like path yourself into an advantage point. Uh, maybe an explosive barrel. Some, something. You, you got that chance, right? But it's it's all very much the exact same thing. Like that's it. But you can explain that a billion ways, man. You could say, oh, but behind the scenes. Yeah, but we don't see that. Right? We don't we don't see any of that stuff. So from the developer's perspective, it's kind of like it's not disingenuous. That's not that's not the right word, but it's kind of like you can't really explain away the fact that it's the same by saying it's completely different. Because it's not. It's not, man.
That's what I'm saying though, Dagger's Oath. Even though they've got like the bones, the skeleton is D&D. But it plays the same. It plays the same. They may have changed like the party order. They may have changed like, you know, things like, okay, there's, there's, um, like you said, there, there's like group stealth and, and things like this, which are intrinsic to D&D. But the, the way it plays, it's, it's, it's so much like Divinity that it, it feels just like Divinity rather than Baldur's Gate. Like it just, it's like a perfect, a perfect like stepping stone, I guess. It's not, it's not a perfect stepping stone for Baldur's Gate. It's a perfect stepping stone for Divinity. That's the better way to put it, I think. I think. Yeah. Yeah. The funniest moment was when Hans said, I want to see a 90% chance miss so I know it's Divinity Original Sin. <laughs> dude, that was so good. I was like, I remember, dude, I was like, okay, if this is Divinity Original Sin, there's a 90% chance to hit, that's going to be a miss. Miss, and he was like, oh. Dude, it's so good. Oh, man. And then again, and then again, oh man, it's too good, dude. That stuff cracked me up. That was like my entire time playing, playing Divinity Original Sin 2, dude. So many times. In due time. Even more, like 95% chance to hit, miss. Come on, man. That happens like every three times I, I try to attack on a 95% chance, man. Come on. God damn you. And XCOM, yeah, dude. <laughs> I had no problems. I had no problems with all the bugs, man. I, I didn't... None of those bugs bothered me because I know that... That's just game dev, dude, right? Yeah. I had no issues with any of that stuff. That's pretty standard. I guarantee you there's probably some salty mofos out there that were like... Though. About all that stuff. There. I shall end this suffering. Hatred, ferocious Smilodon. Man. Let us strike Whoa. Not, not used enemies Whoa, look at this dude's attack rate. That, that dude had like a billion attacks per round. 960, nice. I like that. The mistakes in the first fight was hilarious to watch. Reminded me of when I play games. Yeah, he's a great guy, man. Sven is an awesome dude. Like I said, man, I I, I don't... Even though I feel this way about the game, it's, it's I don't... I don't... There's no animosity towards it, man. I, I have no doubt it's going to be a fun-ass game to play. No doubt whatsoever. Ooh, what's this? Enforcer's Robe? Plus one dodge bonus and plus five bonus to unarmed attack and damage. It's a monk's robe. 321 diamond dust? A new legend is born. Oh, Mass Havoc, Dude. A new legend is born. Thank you for doing that, dude. Thank you for gifting those two tier ones to Ari Sayu and Nerd Tears. Thank you, man. Step in, let's get some daggers for you guys, huh? Level one. Iron Dagger. Right there, man. Plus 5 attack, 2% crit. Start burying those bad boys into the backs of your enemies. Yes. Just like that. Just like that. I 
and say hi to Shazza too. Don't forget to throw your coins up on the counter, man. Right? She'll snap your spine in like three places in a second if you don't. You don't want to see that. Trust me. Um. Mass Havoc, thank you, dude. You're a champion. Legend. That's very Larian, though. They do prefer to show off this cool thing if it's not perfect yet. Yeah. Yeah. Very tempted to apply to work there. You should, man. You should, dude. Everyone is upset and we have not even seen a single percent of the game yet. It was early alpha, so things can still change. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Save is broken, death is permanent, and we'll wipe party. Let's hope this doesn't happen. First battle. Wiped. <laughs> so classic, dude. You know that he probably practiced that? Like, I remember when... I remember when, when we we were demoing um, live and our guys went through and literally played through certain things over and over and over to make sure that they knew exactly where to go where to walk without causing bugs who to interact with what to do all these things it was just like this sequence of events that you just you just rolled over right and it was hilarious because no matter how much you practice those things dude it's like the one time that you need things to just go smoothly and it just doesn't man it just doesn't <laughs> so good game dev 101 follow if you dare you're still gonna miss the bell spawn saga the ball spawn saga hmm Sorry, just catching up on the chat while I'm uh while I'm grooming my mustache, okay? Has no hey have fun. Wait, what? What is HF? There's a reason why all the AAA studios record gameplay and then just have it play when they press a button on the controller. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Let me, I, I can't in good conscience leave that tiny bit of that um, fog of war right there. It's illegal, man. Legend is born. Oh, Mass Havoc, dude. Thank you for doing that, man. D. Hockety, Overkill Rabbit, Akachi. Welcome, guys. Hey, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Now you have eight. Oh, man. You're a legend, dude. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate it, dude. Is born. Champion. Hey, save it, man. Right, you've got baby on the way, dude. You're gonna need it. Okay. You're gonna need it, man. You're gonna have to stock up on those energized beverages, dude. Let me tell you. <laughs> A new legend. Thank you, man. Born. I'm doing it while I can. <laughs> That's true, dude. That's true. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. All right, Giant's Palm. Let's get to the nerd list right here. Giant's Palm. Done. Charred Ruins? Is that it? Uh, should I say, uh, no, it should be okay. 
Thank you, dude. D. Hockney, Overkill, Rabbit, Akachi. Take a trip inside the armory again, huh? Step in. Line up. Line up. Form a nice orderly line. Moving right past the front of the counter right here. Level 1. Iron Dagger. More Iron Daggers. Don't worry about it, man. We got billions of these things, right? Shaza can crank these out like nothing. Master Smith action right there, dude. Welcome, guys. I want to see a guy sweat on stage in front of a projector that won't locate his laptop video signal. Oh, man. And the crowd's just sitting here like... And after like five seconds, you can just hear them start talking amongst themselves, right? Just making funny looking like glances at, towards each other like... Oh, Kankil. So I, I, um, I, I made a YouTube video today of my first thoughts on the, on the Baldur's Gate, um, thing, of course, and I posted it up, but I haven't, I haven't been back to check the comments for about three or four hours, so I'm guessing, I'm guessing there's going to be some, it's, I guarantee you, I guarantee you after like a week, it will be my most disliked video. I guarantee it guarantee it. It will be the most disliked, probably one of the most commented on and most disliked videos I've made. Guarantee it. I already saw a couple of, like, not salty, man, but just, you know, people who are just like, absolutely not buying this. 100% not buying it. It's not Baldur's Gate. Instantaneously. Shazzy used to work at Whiterun making iron daggers to up her crafting skills. That's it. Evil Spork. Take it easy. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Thank you for hanging out. Poor Sven. Everything went, went wrong for him. It's funny because I think he's so he's so used to it, right? That he took it like such a champion. I've got like a, a freaking itchy bite right on my right on my elbow, dude. You ever had that before? It's like I got a mosquito bite right on my elbow. It's like the worst, dude. What mosquito does that, man? It's a chaotic evil mosquito right there. You find that tomb? I don't know. I'm I'm hoping that this is this is it. Something bothering you? Something bothering me, yeah. Are you kidding me? Definitely. Share your oh, I'm gonna share my troubles. Check this out, Tristan. Now you better pay attention for a second. Confide in me. Wow, I'm using up some of my scrolls. Can you believe it? I better do that. Wow, cure moderate wounds for eight. What is this? 2d... 2d8 plus one per caster level. Oh, so we rolled a five out of... Out of two, a D2? Oh, man. Alright, I'll allow it. It could have been worse. It could have been... Could have been a five total. Alright, five is literally the smallest amount that this could possibly heal for. Uh, 
Divinity Gate 3. Yes, that's right. I, I don't know yet, Cosmic. No idea, man. It will get the view, so it's a win for you. Yeah, hopefully I get another uh, three cents on my YouTube channel. Oh my god. I, I actually, I don't know how people who have made like a career out of this or who are trying right now to make a career out of this stuff, man. Uh, I won't say I feel sorry for them, but um, I see something. shit, man. I, let's just say that I feel I'm very, very lucky and I, and I feel, I feel really glad that I'm not in that position. Because if I was, I think I'd be I'd be so stressed out, man. I'd be so stressed out, dude. Man, there's lots of there's gold hidden in the support beams. Cosmic, did you see that? I'm just saying, man. That was a support beam secret right there, right? That was cos cosmic one of Cosmic's uh, embezzled funds. Make no mistake. Wait, was there a... One on this side, maybe? Huh? No? Are you sure? Are you sure? <sighs> I've had a slot on my elbow once. That was a freaking pain in the elbow. Wait, what? A slot on your elbow. What's that? A bite on your knuckle. Oh, yeah, yeah, A spot. Oh my god. Skillfully crafted iron golem. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this treasure chest. This guy's gonna come alive and be like, get the hell out of my house. You freaking bums. Right? Get out of my face. I know. You know. Don't hesitate. We all know. Here. Knock, knock more runner and talker than fighter. Sash of Slash. What the hell is this thing? What was that? Plus six. Enhancement bonus to dexterity and damage reduction five to slashing. Is that you, dude? He doesn't need constitution. Oh. How many, how much HP does he lose? Oh. Fine. Cyber Ghost, what's up, man? How are you, dude? Welcome was so obviously a trap. Yeah, I know. Hey, but why is... Oh, no, there we go. What is this? Uh, We're not prepared for this battle, so... Yo! <gasps> 1,920 EXP. Of course, he had one of the parts of that glove, dude. How may I help? You can help by getting one of these bad boys, right? Right here, my friend. Where are you, dude? Do you have a restoration spell? Or did I throw that away? Done. Nice and easy. Um, 
Does the sash of slash give a bonus to guitar skills? Plus five to shredding. Imagine if you combine it with the top hat as well. <laughs> Think about that. Plus 10 to shredding. There we go, right there. Ah, <laughs> oh, stop it. You disgust me. Is his dexterity going to be 31? Really? Oh my goodness me. Wow. He's going to lose like 25 HP though. Oh my god, dude. 25 HP. He's already so low as it is. Oh man. But his attack went up. And he just gained some damage reduction, 5 versus slashing, so. That was worth it. 100% worth it. What was this place called? Something tomb? Get your butt up out of the seat. Actually, you're right. Uh, Cien... How do I say that name? Ciendio? How do I even say that, man? So it has to be either the Shrewish Gulch or the Two-Faced Hill. Right? That's it. That's all we've got. There's no other new places that have popped up here. None. Okay, Charred Ruins. Let's add that to the nerd list, right? Charred Ruins. Done. Right, you guys chill for a second, right? Don't have any parties while I'm not here. If you do, we're going to go to emote only mode for the next three hours. I'm watching you.
<laughs> I see you. Ah, oh, Ciandio. How do I say your name, dude? Oh my god. Um. Sorry, I got the burps now. I don't know why. Dad joke, huh? Okay, let me get a goodie for you guys, right? Because you guys are special tonight. It's Friday night. I'm feeling a little bit jovial. Ooh, yes. Alright, here comes a shocker if you've ever heard of it. Okay, this is absolutely disgusting. Now, I don't know why this is even a thing, but uh, how do you organize, right? How do you organize a party in space? You plan it. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. Think about that. Think about it. <laughs> Need to catch my breath. Yes. Don't laugh too hard. Here's a dad joke. Baldur's Gate 3 isn't divinity. <laughs> Good joke, man. Oh my god. Very good. Oh my god. May we have a moment of respite? Dude, you know what I thought, man? You know what I thought was going to happen in that demo, dude? I thought he was going to show us a room where there was like, there was like ton, there was like explosive barrels everywhere and it was just going to be filled with fire. And I was like, oh Jesus, man, come on. Ah, uh, I just, I could feel it. I thought it was going to come out in the demo, dude. Old Sven couldn't resist it. Right, he's going to... But I didn't mean you're thick-headed. Or thick any other way. Oh no, I put my foot in my mouth again. It's all right. I understand your good intentions. I'm glad to be here for my friends. <laughs> Spin. What a legend. Oh! Here we go. Our way was blocked by a huge crevice in the ruddy rock carved out by wind and rain. As wide as three or four humans lying end to end, at least three times as deep, it stretched in both directions as far as we could see. Looking down over the cliff, I saw something that made me wince. Among the rocks on the sandy yellow ochre floor was a body. Oh no. We examined the body below. Perception 30. We inspected the wall of the gorge trying to determine how difficult climbing down would be. Let's get it. Easy. Succeeded. It wouldn't be easy to climb down where we were, but a few dozen steps away we found a good combination of bulges, cracks, and ledges that would make for a somewhat more convenient path. After a bit of planning, we plotted a route that even an amateur climber could handle. The easiest way down would be to tie a rope to one of the trees growing along the cliff. We decided to tie the knot and make the first descent. Um, as I'm off to work, cheers, Mass Havoc, take it easy, dude. Thank you again, man, for the five gifted subs, man. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. You're a legend of the highest tier of legends. Oh, man. Thank you, dude. Uh, athletics, one of us agreed to be the first to climb down the path we'd chosen so they could help the rest afterwards. Um, 
Ooh, this is going to be tricky. Succeeded. Items lost rope. Wait, what? Once again, the length of rope proved itself indispensable for adventuring, especially when the adventurer knows how to tie a knot. The climb down was rather easy as we pushed our feet against the rock wall and descended into the crevice. It took just half an hour for us all to climb down. Items lost rope. What? Our whole team finally made it down to investigate the dead man's body. I guess right, the poor fellow had clearly died on impact. A lot of different types of gear had been scattered around in the sand. Armor, tools, even scythes and hammers. It was clear that this was much more than a single person could carry. We searched the dead body. The gear in the knapsack and on the man's body were well preserved, but most of what we found lying on the crevice floor was corroded and useless. Spearheads and swords crumbled at the touch and the armor had so many holes it looked like a delicate lace. If not for the poor condition, there'd have been enough to outfit a whole regiment. What? We also noticed something that couldn't be seen from above. A large stone stood blocking a hole in the wall. A sickly sweet smell leaked out from the dark narrow crack that remained. Items received shovel, camping supplies and rations. We decided to enter the hole in the rock. We all pushed the stone together and moved with ease, only to immediately release an incredible stench into the air. We'd found a small cave, but what was in it? Gods, it was full of charred, half-decomposed bod decomposed bodies, and lying among them were huge grey eggs covered with some sticky slime. We tried to determine what the eggs were. We decided to break the eggs. Oh no. Come on, Tristan, man. Get out those lucky dice, dude. I need a 14. We need a 14, Tristan. I believe in you, dude. I believe you can do it. I know you can do it. Are you ready, Tristan? Go for it, dude. You rolled a four, dude. <sighs> Disgusting. We decided to break the eggs. Succeeded. We drew our weapons and struck the disgusting eggs. Our steel sank into the hard skin and gooey green slime oozed from the eggs. There was suddenly no air to breathe. Tears streamed from our eyes. Our throats grew raspy and we started coughing. It wasn't long before we had to evacuate, but not for, before we'd managed to destroy over half the clutch. The noise continued to grow louder, emphasized with strange, dull sounds, as though the ground were muttering in some otherworldly language with a dry, coarse tongue. And then a wave of sand rose from the far entrance of the gorge and the crest of the wave was coming straight for us. We rushed to search the corpses. A ruby ring. The corpses had been ravaged, covered with a gigantic tooth marks and burned by electricity and acid. Most of the clothing and items were unrecognizable. They were so eaten by the acid. Even the cave walls had been polished down by it. We managed to find a golden ring with a gemstone on one dead woman's finger. A corrosive substance unable to damage the king of metals. A fountain of sand and dust erupted not a hundred steps from us, from the ground emerging a gigantic oblong head attached to a long muscular body with no shoulders. The creature clearly resembled a worm, but it was as thick as a century-old oak. Its hide was covered with warts and oozed a sticky yellow secretion, leaving a wet trail along the sand. Lightning shot from its gaping mouth, lighting up its immense throat. The air took on a smell of a storm as the monster barreled towards us. Ooh, man. And then Hans von Hammerhand screamed, Leroy! Nah. <laughs> Oh man, it's just so perfect. Oh my god. Run! But where? Oh my god. 38. We scattered and looked for shelter. Stealth. 49 stealth. 
succeeded. Most of the team dropped their backpacks and slipped into the crack in the wall, but Herz von Hammerhands, trying to enter last, couldn't fit into no ma couldn't fit in no matter how hard she tried. Swearing profusely, she laid prone behind the huge boulder that covered the entrance to the cave. We all held our breath. The worm was so close we could see its dull, tiny eyes. Only the beast's heavy breathing and the hissing sound of sand dissolving as acid dropped onto it broke the oppressive silence. The monster swayed its head back and forth, seeking, until it hit its nose on the boulder Has von Hammerhands was hiding behind. Has von Hammerhands' iron self-control didn't fail her. She stayed motionless on the ground behind the boulder. It felt like an eternity passed before the worm turned and continued its search along the gorge. As soon as the monster was gone, we carefully scaled the rock wall and escaped the damn place. Dude, are you kidding me? Look at that EXP. We gained 11,520 EXP from that. That's how to get it done. Shrewish, shrewish gulch. That is how to get the job done. Are you kidding me? 400 gold pieces. Huh? 400 gold pieces. This is some kind of joke, dude. And a shovel. Let's not forget the shovel. It has to be a joke of some kind. It just has to be. Hey, did I use that recipe? Didn't I find a recipe for like a new thing? Some new grub? Did I not find a recipe for a new, a new grub? I can't believe I got 467 diamond dust by the way. Hell yeah. Okay, Shrewish Gulch is off. Uh, Shrewish Gulch. Done. That's it. Come up with a new recipe. Oh, man. That's it. Apologize, I promise. Elder Water Elemental. Stay a while. Listen. No, 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 no. Come on. Ah, uh, Oak Bow. Elder Water Elemental, man. Easy for us, dude. These guys are only 180 XP as well. You guys remember when I fought my first Water Elemental in this game and how much it absolutely destroyed me? Remember that? Wrecked us, man. But that's the chat's fault. That's not my fault. Right? I can't be blamed for that kind of stuff. 
ever. Two-faced hill, so this must be it. Right? This has to be the, the spot. It told me I knew exactly where to go. So is this it? I've searched these entire lands. I won't let you down. I'm off. Sky Chronicler, hey, thank you for the host, dude. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Werewolf from Tegreth's family. Oh! Has von Hammerhands has a lycanthrop. My skills are absolute. Oh, you better watch yourself, man. Yes, anarchic lycanthrop bane greatsword. Oh, man, you better watch yourself, man. You're going to get destroyed, dude. Do you understand me? You force we my We will hand. prevail. <laughs> I'll grant you death. <gasps> I'll try to make this swift. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Um. Are you going to take full, full damage from running away from this? Wow, wow. Are you... What? That's just so cruel, dude. He took 60... Two times 66 damage. That could not have gone worse. He rolled two ones. Wow. Listening as hard as I can. <sighs> you disgust me. Don't hesitate. I shall end this suffering. Let us strike as one. Knock knock used to lighting enemies on fire first. Ah! Repent. <laughs> You force my hand. Yes. Oh, you know what? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Very good, very good. Werewolf from Tegreth's family. What's he wearing, by the way? Okay, that's good. So, deadly aim feat. Does he even have deadly aim? I don't think he does. So actually that that helm is doing nothing for him. That's my bed. alone 
Oh god, this can't be good. I'm gonna go in here, there's gonna be a... a freaking werewolf boss. Something bothering He's not Rap Skull. Ready and willing. <sighs> to victory! I got you dead. <laughs> Wow, dude, 35 AC like it's nothing. Tegreth, werewolf from Numeria. Cannot hide from me. Uh. Just killed. Wait, that's crazy, dude. All this bum armor? That's it? In due time. We just killed a family of werewolves. Plus three. An agile air stock, white rose oysters. And a bent wrench with the Technic League's brand. Follow if you dare. Oh yes. Alright. Any of you guys ever used a, like a fighter with one of these really random kind of weapons? Like an s stock Was it any good? I've never really fought. I've never created a D&D character. Ever. And all of my campaigns in any D&D game ever. That wielded a kind of like a really non-conventional weapon. Um. I've never really wielded one. Best for sword saints. Really? Best for melee with dex builds? I always thought a scimitar was. But an air stock is, is, is 2d4, so of course that would be. It is piercing also. An s -doc is like a, a 2 to 8 damage scimitar with 18 to 20 crit. It's only, a, it's only times 2 crit though. Is a scimitar times 3? s -docs and rapiers are best in this game. Like this, this karma right here seems to be pretty damn good. It's only D6 though. Oh damn it, that adamant, adamantine icy burst knife is uh, freaking phenomenal for a high crit character. I don't have anybody here. I don't. Okay, so we did this place. Um, I officially have no idea where the tomb is. I thought that what we did before was like, like I literally left that, um, I left that little like cutscene with like a, we know, we know where we need to go finally. Where? Oh my god, Lady Numerix, you're making no sense at all. Cats like standing on your keyboard. 
mysterious shrine. Is this it? White Rose Oysters, hang on a minute. Oh, this plus three amulet, hang on a minute. <sighs> okay. Um. Plus three, plus three, plus three. Plus two. Okay, so I've got a question. So this necklace of double crosses, right? I don't think that this is very useful anymore for the sneak attack stuff. It's only useful for the trickery stealth mobility, which is important for her. But because it's been so long since we got this, I can't remember why we initially did this for her, um, her sneak attack. So... The melee, this enabled her to add 2d6 sneak attack for her range touch, right? Right? Hmm. I'm listening. That's such a weird bug, dude. I'm there. Oh, another weird monolith thing? Oh. What? Oh, this is weird. The nearly erased inscription reads, Farewell, my queen. Death was the best, best gift we could give you. What? I don't know, dude. All right, we'll think about that. I do what I must. Uh, cat kid, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. I can't believe how well I've done on like three hours sleep, man. Can't believe it. Absolutely soldiered it today. Ooh, a puzzle. Yeah, except I'm not devoting really any time to puzzles right now. I'm trying to find the damn Armag's tomb, dude. Bike MG, what's up, dude? Armag's tomb? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, nobody spoil it. Don't spoil it. I'm just... Don't tell me, I'm, I'm just speaking to myself here. I will always make it really clear if I need help. I'll always just ask straight up. Two-faced hill and mysterious shrine. So, two-faced hill. Done. Uh, mysterious shrine. Megalith puzzle, no clue.
There was broken code in the game that gave her the bonus with ranged attacks, even though it said melee only. Uh. Okay. I did send Jaythal on a mission. Uh, it wasn't Jaythal. I think I sent the other one. I think I, I tried to find find it the other way. Dude, I did. I did I've done all of this today. Freaking cleared this whole thing out, man. Glenabon Uplands. Right, we're not mucking around here. difficult it is to forgive me and accept me into your circle again slokes what's up man welcome back how are you dude hard work being barren today can return the trust you've lost but time can do strange things easier to fix a broken egg man that's a task you know what i would do if it was just cracked, destroyed, and oozing, I would immediately freeze the egg. Yes. And then take it out. Right? Take it out. And then try to repair it slowly as it un... Freezes. As it thaws. Right, where the hell is it? Um, what if it's like right here? I'm gonna laugh, dude. What if it's like right here, dude? Let's just test this theory, huh? God. No, but the 20 kill of the task was to fix the egg. Right, fix it. What in the hells? A mature ethic. Oh my goodness me. Stay behind me. Yeah. Wow, the speed. Let us strike as one. What? What? I aim true. <laughs> oh my god. Easy. Wow, leather armor? That's the loot. <sighs> oh, nice. Has made a thought vid on BG3. We'll watch that later. Hey, nice man. Thank you, dude. I appreciate you guys for doing that. Honestly, I do. I wish I could say that. Um, it's, it, dude, it's funny. It's funny. I, I wanted to kind of say this before, but I kind of have to watch myself because it's like, I know that there's, uh, I know that I'm in a very lucky position and, I, and I'm and i not, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky enough to not be in a, in a place where I'm sweating about like, the amount of money that I make off my stream or off my YouTube channel because I like need it to like live you know what I mean I'm lucky to be in that position man and I I feel really I feel for people who are are in that headspace of being like I gotta make like this is it for me I gotta do everything you know se secretly behind the scenes they're in the headspace of man this is all I'm doing, right? The, everything is stacked on this because that's a, that's so much pressure, man. And with everything that I've got, yeah, with the, the financial stress and, and without having like a career skill developed yet, something you can, you can make money from turning to like streaming or YouTube when you've got nothing, you have no social media following, you have you have no product to sell you you haven't built anything yourself 
and you've got nothing you've got no day job you've got no income oh god that's that's pressure man that's some really high high pressure and i do not envy being in that position all i was going to say was that's why i appreciate you know you guys for or for anybody who watches my videos and and who you know supports this channel um because it's, it 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 doesn't it's just purely you guys you know just just doing whatever's comfortable with you because it doesn't it will never bother me like you guys can just hang out right it doesn't like this number of legends right even if this number of legends just plummeted back down to like 80 when i first started it, w it wouldn't bother me at all man i'd still be sitting here streaming you know doesn't bother me <laughs> it will stop the growth of Haslin though so I won't have money to pay the artist to do the freaking uh, to build this stuff that's this is literally where your guys money goes right it goes into this stuff and paying like Wayne June to do voices for my stream that's what i'm trying to do at the moment luckily i have a day job to take most of the financial stuff yeah that's what i'm saying like as long as you have something right it, it, it can really really ease it's when all the pressure is on just streaming man or like making youtube that's that's so tough dude so tough wait what the hell is this mode Wait, what? Wait, what the hell? Oh, dude, I never knew that was here. <gasps> oh, my goodness gracious me. Oh, dude. I didn't even know that was here. So what's this one? So this one gets rid of the borders. This one shows a different colored lands when you're in rogue ass lands, right? Where you need to go to get back into your kingdom. And this one, it just leaves the borders on. That is so cool, dude. I never knew that. Hasland just needs to hire the taxes. That's right, right? Starting from today, Everybody who's subbed to this channel, right? It no longer costs $4.99, okay? Now it costs $499. Think about it. Please. <laughs> By all means, get in here. Oh, it's worth it. Trust me. Yes. All right, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's a discovery for me. I didn't know that. That's the first time I'd ever clicked on that. 499 cents. <laughs> yes. It's no longer $4.99, okay? Now it's 499 cents. Let that sink in. Right? Think about that. Okay, I need to... Uh... Let's go this way. Good luck finding that tomb. Thanks, man. I'm, I think I'm just going to have to wait until uh, that, that quest is up. I don't think I'm going to find it. I don't think it's going to... It's going to surface anytime soon. This will hurt. <laughs> Whoa! So it's come to this. Oh my! I'm dead. I'm dead. Holy crap. 
skin them all. I'm off. <laughs> Where are you looking? Oh, I'm looking for Armeg's tomb, but don't worry, I'm I'm not gonna. Uh, please don't uh, don't tell me where it is, or, or don't don't give me any hints, no spoilers. I just wanna, I want to find it. Desecrated Cairn. Cairn. Uh oh. Something's popped up, man. I need to go and check that out. I might have to let that quest fail. <sighs> Actually. Oh no, let me, let me see. Let me see how long that's going to take. I need to check this out. Try to avoid. Evade. Time to search for the spot to rest. You failed to sneak past. Prepare. Oh no. We will prevail, Ventures. Can wait. Oh my god, dude. Do not falter. Elder Earths, huh? May we have a moment of rest? Hey, come on. Repent. Cannot hide from me. Oh. worth 180 in due time hope i can find this i'm trying to f i'm trying to uh there's a couple things here that i needed to do i've lost track of because i did all that searching i've lost track of what quests i needed to how many days there was until one of my uh one of my tasks popped up in my kingdom so unfortunately i've missed it now so I don't know where I'm at. Please make it. Please make it. Please make it. Please make it. Yes. Please succeed. Freaking disaster. Oh. Had to be the worst, worst one as well. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna load a save to see how far away I am. Um, let's load. So that was 12th, 11th on the auto save. The 10th was this mysterious shrine. Let's load this one, see where I am. After the war battle? What day is this? Is this right before midnight? I think this is I think this is a good one. It is. So this is the day. Okay, so I need to go back to here. 17 hours. So this is the roll. So that's the one I need to load. I need to catch my breath. Welcome, friend. You got it, you got it. You got it. 
Come on. Another disaster? Hey, man, what do you need to roll? You need to roll. Six. Wait, you, you need to roll a... What do you need to roll? An 11. You need to roll a 14. You need to roll an 18? Oh. Uh. Eight. Wait. Hang on a minute. How does this work? Four plus two. That's six. Wait, six plus nine is nine. Where's the 13? How do I get 13? Stability rank bonus is times two. So the total is eight plus two, 10 plus three. So I need, yeah, I need to roll a 14. Come on, man. You can, you, dude, you got this. Why Twitch? Why you do this? Why? what's going on? What's happening? Okay, I'm gonna jump out of this. I'm gonna stop the time right before midnight. Save it. And then continue on. It froze and froze. Oh. Sometimes it's like that, eh? It's weird. Twenty-two. Ooh, okay. This is where we save it. Quick saved. Come on, man. All I need is one really good roll. That's that's it. Should just keep loading. Their to search ends for here. the spot to rest. Not not tired. This oh oh. This is not good. thought that was going to be easy, huh? You thought that was going to be an easy fight? Think I was at target, right? Easy hit. Think again. Unfortunately, I should have just loaded the save. This was, that was a silly move. I don't know why I did that. I need to catch my breath. No. Push on. It was more fun. It's true, but it's going to be... Come on, man. What are you rolling this time? You rolled a 10. <sighs> 14 or more, man. I've got to keep doing it until I succeed, dude. I can't lose it. I can't lose it. Come on. Roll the dice. Roll the dice. Get the job done. I need to catch my breath. There it is right there. Success. It's all we needed. Hey, nice job, man. Very good, dude. 
Why are these Kellard scouts just keep popping up day after day, time after time? Right? Now it's this one's available. This one dies on the 7th. Such a low chance to succeed too. And another one. Right? Dude, these guys, they, they just keep coming, man. That's the first of the eighth. Have you seen the guest lineup for Armageddon? No, I haven't, man. Ekin. It's special for Ekin. Great. Just great. Okay, two days. Two two days, man. Tartuk. Um find mention of Armag's tomb. Twenty days. Twenty days, dude. God in twenty days he would have failed. If I cancel that, how long is this going to take? 14 days. That will take it until the 26th. He can do it. Nice. Now I can get one of these guys in. That should be great. Any news on Wrath of the Righteous? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't heard any. That's that's for certain. I don't know how close they are to the goal. I saw a snake. Careful, Beckin. That's a legless lizard, not a snake. No venom. And no venom. I can tell you I'm more hyped to play Wrath of the Righteous than I am to play Baldur's Gate 3. I can tell you that much. Oh wait, two days. Oh. I think I'm going to have to do this whole, that whole journey again. Two days back for Ragonga. Um. Oh no, that was a task. That was a task. So that's all automatic success. So it doesn't matter. Desecrated Cairn. George, bedtime for you. Take it easy, man. Catch some Zeds, dude. Friday night for me, so... Uh, I won't be too far behind, man. Oh. What is this, huh? Mayhaps we found it? Confide in me. Is this the one? Here. Tribal fetish. Someone gathered and brought here countless boxes, barrels, packs, and crates. Judging by the dust, no one touched most of these for months. The floor between the crates is scattered with items, clothing, weapons, provisions. Examining everything will take hours. Search through the boxes. May we have a moment of respite? What? 
Wow. Ancient Keller rope fragment. Golden ingot. What the hell is this? Gnome hooked hammer? Daytura. That's all it was? Wait. Some hill giants. With their mouths open, three hill giants stare at you, puzzled. Finally, after a long pause, one of them points his finger at you. You. Ask her, Grug. Shut up, Brick. The third giant has been silent all this time. Judging by his expression, he seems to be trying to figure out what's going on. Clearing his throat, Grug turns to you. Who are you? With violent giggling, Knock Knock bears his weapon. These good enemies. Big enough for hero Knock Knock. I'm an agent on a secret mission. What mission? Um... There is a turn-based turn mod. See, I think that's good. I think that's really good, dude. I think that's really, really cool. I hope Baldur's Gate 3 allows that. Real time with pause combat mod, please. Binkley. Binkley. Take it easy, man. Have a good one, dude. I was hired to exterminate all the goblins in the surrounding woods. I act as an ally of orcs in their struggle against the powerful sorcerer. A local ruler sent me to spy around the kingdom of eternal summer where people have never seen the snow. You say it's always warm there with soft grass all around? Of course, if you pay me, I'll send you a guide who'll show you the shortest way. No, you idiot. I'm fooling you. Prepared to die. Consider me I shall end this suffering. Get out of my face. I'm there. Where did, where did his light, where did the light cantrip just go? It's like it disappeared instantly. Well, okay, well the desecrated, um, this desecrated tunnel or whatever it is, not there. Time to search for the spot to rest. Desecrated can. Lipstick? Oh my god. I can just see him eating it. Chowing down on that lipstick? Lipstick? 
damn dude there's gonna be like three fights on my way back i'm gonna have to load the save game again Wow, I haven't seen these guys for a while. Primal Spider Matriarch. Let us strike as one. Victory is inevitable. You forced my hand. Monster Mash, what's up, dude? Been a few days, eh? How you been? You been well? Yeah, I have been, man. We had a stream earlier today. Oh, man. I was not supposed to stream like this tonight, actually. I streamed for three hours at 8 a.m. this morning, right? Baldur's Gate. World, world, uh, world announcement. And now I've put together another eight-hour stream. Oh, my God. Success. Poltergeist in the temple. Jod, huh? It's the first of the, of the seventh. Oh, man. Come on, dude. 15 days. When is Jod free? He's not free for 17 days. So typical, man. All right, there's nothing we can do. Nothing we can do, dude. And he is trying to find mention of Armog's tomb, dude. A visitor waits in the castle. It's time to discuss events related to the bald hilltop. <sighs> Wait, what is that? Dwarven engineering. When the South Nile marches and Dire Nile marches have a military upgrade. Dwarven keeps can be restored more efficiently, increasing military by two and stability by four. Interesting. You cannot skip time while adventuring. Oh, that's a little frustrating. Regonga. Okay, so that's the one with the eighth. So Kellid Scouts, you get that done, right? I'm going to have to let that one fail. Oh, that sucks so bad, dude. So bad. Uh, the dire null marshes. Wait, I thought I claimed that region. Oh, I didn't because it passed time and I got in trouble with the curse before. Wow, man. It's getting tough to manage this stuff. Right? Now I need to remember how many days until the next one. Uh, how many days until the next one? Okay, I've got 11 days. 11 days. Um, 11 days to search pretty much this. I, actually, there's not too much left to search here, man. Where the hell is this freaking temple? Huh. Huh. 
Huh. Anyone heard from Debbie Pebbles lately? No, no, I haven't heard from Debbie. Debbie hasn't been maybe like a week. I haven't seen her around for a while. Did I, did I finish a desecrated can? Let me just add that to the old, uh, desecrated can. Done. I miss the cookies and cup of tea. She normally gives out. Yeah, it's very, very welcoming, wasn't it? Time to search for the spot to rest. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got you, man. The land again. Everyone blames mother again. But that is not her. She would have fooled me. Whoever is to blame, I pity the simple folk that will become beasts prey. They just began forgetting about that terrible bloom, and now it strikes again. Continue. Someone on the road, get ready. Whoa, whoa, our road once again led us to the border of Pytax where bandits, unconcerned for the law, often lie in wait for innocent victims. Oh, imagine how surprised we were when instead of bandits we bumped into a guard patrol. Could it be that King Erevedi was determined to restore order along his border? I've seen all sorts of miracles, but this would be hard to believe. The kind guard, uh, the guard kindly informed us that the borders were closed due to a travel ban. This was not because of war or plague, but because of the coronavirus. Oh. The kingdom was preparing for the Rushlight Tournament. The king was busy giving personal consultations to painters, artists, and the masters of the stage who would be responsible for the event. The Baroness and I exchanged smiles. Too bad for the poor artists. According to the guard, the king ordered the borders closed and kept the secrets of his coming triumph. The guardsmen were polite but adamant. Fortunately, we had no reason to challenge him and fight our way into Pytax. Before someone could disgrace us with an ignorant question about the tournament, I gave my friends a short lecture. The Baroness specifically asked what would happen if we violated the ban. Unable to stop myself, I blurted out, Could it be that the true reason for this ban is to prevent King Erevedi's subjects from leaving his country? Oh. The guard spared no effort to assure us that this was just a rumor and speculation coming from unproven sources. But of course, we knew full well that it was no rumor. In fact, Many refugees had fled Erevedi's kingdom to find a new home in our lands. I myself am living proof of that. Before someone could disgrace us, ah, uh, let's go. The guard frowned. Most probably would have a fight and you would win. Then a diplomatic crisis would follow and in any case you'd be expelled from Pytax. We discussed the situation and decided there was no need to derail our relations with Pytax without a good reason. Okay. Uh. A new legend is born. <sighs> Stomped. Oh my god. Man, thank you for the 25 months, man. What a damn legend. Look at you, dude. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Step into the armory, man. Step in, dude. Level 7, huh? Level 7, huh? Here we go, dude. Level 7. Ice Blade. 50% magic attack, 50% normal attack, and 15% crit. Oh my god. Special. Right? Special right here, dude. Secret. 
Oh, man, you can do all wielding ice blades now, man. Ooh. You ain't mucking around now, dude. No mucking around there, man. None at all, dude. None at all. What is a serpent trail? What is that? Can't be this, right? I do what I must. Gigantic Linorm. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh, dude, I'm all fatigued. God damn, dude. Let's hope there is no gigantic crazy beast here. Actually, you know what? Hearty purple soup. Eating a hearty purple soup provides you with immunity to all poisons and diseases for a day. It also removes all poison and disease effects and fully restores HP. Oh. I should have stayed there, probably. But then who would take revenge? I'll take revenge for as long as I live. I'm off. What have we got here? Who have we got here? Is it a Lenorm? Oh, of course, of course. Oh, God. Khaled Barbarians. These guys, have, it's like they've been everywhere in these lands. Friggin' bums. My sword broke feels bad, man. Oh. That sword definitely didn't come from my, uh, my armory, that's for sure. Nope. What's this? First world mince pie. <gasps> oh, first world mince pie. Now we are talking, man. Oh, yes. Where is that recipe? Copy that, man. Let's get this thing chiseled out on that freaking... Huh? Why is that uncovered up there? It's a boat? Why is there a boat here? I'm there. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. Okay, saving. Ah, oh, dude, that's a that's a really annoying bug, dude. It's so annoying. In due time. Help 
but not fight back. Best kind Do of fight. Not hold up. Okay, so poison. Let's sort that out real quick. Communal poison. You can Something count on me. Wagritium Turinos. In due time. Poisonous Primal Doom Hydra. Nice. Doom Hydra, huh? 1920 XP. Popped. Couple more eyeballs for that pet, eh? Nice. Oh. Alkali gloves. I'm there. Wait, this is all that's here. Some alkali gloves. Wait, where do they go? Whenever the wearer of these gloves successfully lands a hit with a melee weapon, an unarmed strike, or a natural weapon, the target takes d6 points of acid. Ooh. Hell yes. Attack 29. I think she's got the highest attack bonus in the game. I have the highest chance to hit. Freaking awesome. Get over to that boat. Dimension door? No. Nothing. Oh well. But fair enough. Serpent's path. Have not found. Have not found. I guess the only way is, um, is to kind of do those quests. Oh god, what if I have to do all of the quests? Oh man, that will be so bad. Oh god. Oh, whoops, my bad. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Am I going to learn the hard way? Am I going to get punished? I'm going to get punished. Wicked Hill, you think I'm going to fall for that? Think again, man. The Nord Rocks. Okay, but that's not where it is. I guess I'm going to take a long journey back to Tuskdale. Going to go and sell some stuff. Um, going to go...
gear up and get ready to Victory. spend a ton of time doing like rank ups. Oh. I think this is the first time I've seen these guys. Like at all. Let us strike as one. Do not falter. Oh god. Valerie, hold. Hold, Valerie. Hold. What? Of my family. Oh no, dude. Oh. Oh my god, this is... Oh my god, this is insane. Repent. Oh god. Um... Holy crap. Um... Cannot believe that fight. Holy crap. Okay, I'll have to load the auto save. God damn, dude. That was freaking unbelievable. I've never seen that many uh th that many anything's in a fight before. God damn. What was that? There was like... Oh, wait. What? Oh, dude. This is bad news, man. Uh... Oh, no. <sighs> okay. How are we going to do this? Um this will hurt. Mm. What if these guys do any extra fire damage? Drop uh, heroism. Wait, why did why didn't why did none of that work? Dude, drink the damn potion. didn't affect okay um, so there's five uh, five elementals right here and another two come from God knows where I have no idea where they come from um,
Where are these other guys going to come from? And why isn't Tristan casting his freaking bless spell? The saving throws. Um, I will try to. Wow, fortitude save. This is lowest save, and he saved. What a freaking bum. these other guys dude I know that they're gonna roll in any second knock knock used to lighting enemies on fire first <laughs> Wait, there was way more last time. There was like another whole wave. There was like three down here and another like three came from over here. I... I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm out. Let's get out of here. Well... You're watching me now until until I finish? Oh, I'm privileged. Thank you. Hello, hello. I'm trying to get back home. Time to search for the spot to rest. I'm in my kingdom. It just went past midnight. The missing ambassador. A problem. Oh god. Success chance 10%? Are you serious, man? I noticed that the that the that the strength of like the uh the problems that are coming up are getting really, really high, man. I, it's like I need to. I need to start focusing on um, on leveling up my guys like real quick, man, because shit's starting to go south fast. Like, I'm not going to be able to do this stuff, man. Faith and loyalty? Tristan, 90%. For 14 days, let's get it done, man. Mysterious weeds? Oh, man. Nothing. Got 11 days. Oh, that's like two. That's like two that I can't deal with. Man. Sucks. I'm just gonna have to let these guys go. To start failing quests. It might. Let's go. Are 
mercy. No, please let me escape. Yes. Oh, God. Hell yeah. Oh, made it back to base. It feels good, man. Sell off this junk. Five K, a thousand pounds worth of trash. Deal. Sounds good, man. Okay, now I can finally sell off this stuff. Quarter staff plus two. What is this day tour, by the way? Agile air stock. Chain shirts plus one plus one. Sell that. Plus one dodge bonus to AC. Plus five bonus to un unarmed attack and damage. That is an insane robe for a monk, man. Plus five to unarmed attack. What is this? Belt of physical perfection. Let's hold on to that. Alluring charisma. Done. Done. Inspired Wisdom. Vast Intelligence. Natural Armor plus two. That's out. That's out, man. Another cool 11,000 right there. There. Uh, right, let's tie up these loose ends. Then I'm out of here. A new day, a fresh victory, your grace. Another attack has been repelled and your grateful subjects have a special reward for you. 14,100 bones. Lindsay gives Tristan an oddly serious look. It was you who was buying the attacks, wasn't it? But why? Tristan drops his head limply. Yes, at least to a certain extent. My lady, Tristan's lips curve scornfully. Nyrissa ordered me to open the way for creatures from the first world. I often traveled between worlds, so it was not a difficult thing to do. Galarian is closely connected with the first world. Spontaneous portals between the two worlds are not uncommon. All I did was give one such portal some extra stability. Once every few months, it opened wide enough to allow Nerissa's creatures to come charging through. What I did was terrible. People were dying all the time because of me. And I could do nothing but warn them of the next attack. I mourn the losses every day. My only hope is that one day I'll be able to make up for these evil acts. The storyteller's voice is quiet but firm. In any case, I doubt that Tristan's repentance will somehow prevent the next attack. Uh, the attacks will continue. As with the ever-blooming flower, I only helped Nerissa open a portal from the first world to Galarian. I'm not the one leading her armies. Tristan, I will help you earn forgiveness. Together we will defeat Nerissa. You better work hard to atone for your mistakes, Tristan. Unless you want to beg for my executioner's forgiveness. Think about that. <laughs> I don't deserve your help, but Saren Ray is my witness. I'm eternally grateful to you. That's right. Don't you forget it. We'll prepare for the next attack. It doesn't matter who's behind it. We won't let them win. I'm sure of it. Your barony is far stronger than your enemies imagine, as you remind them from time to time. That's right. Let that sink in. Yes. Um, uh, Ancient Curse Part 5. 
281 days? Oh, man. No. <laughs> oh, God. Soon, soon J-Fall's gonna be like, hey, you better hurry up and do my quest. I'm just waiting for that to pop up again, and I'm still trying to find Armag's tomb. The old man on the raft showed a vision of Armag's tomb and its whereabouts. It should be easy to find it now. Really? Nah. I don't see it at all, dude. Hmm. Well, we got people doing the quest, so that's the main thing. Ring of luck, let's put that away. Let's put that away, let's put this hat. Mm. Man, I've got a collection here, dude. Hey. Oh, chainmail plus two and mithril champ. Hey, what is that? A ring. Ring of security. This ring grants is where a plus two deflection bonus to AC, a plus two resistance bonus on all saving throws, and spell resistance 14. When did that ring happen? What? I'm gonna sell that. Mighty Constitution. I can sell that. Sell that. No point holding on to that. No point holding on to that either. Wait, why is there like cash money in here? What? Weird. It's making me think that somebody like delivered some loot directly to my uh, de delivered loot some brand new cash loot to my my storage man hell that's a damn good ring right there it's a good ass ring man so plus two to deflection plus three saving throws it's better than this ring of plane up protection I think Oh, yeah, it is. What? A plus two resistance bonus on all saving throws. Wait, what does that look like? Spell resistance 14. Energy resistance... 15 for everything. Pretty cool. don't know where that came from and I wonder if she should have this instead instead of this luck 
this ring of luck. I think I might, but we'll just we'll just let that sit for a second. Oh whoa, wait, what? Oh right, right, I see. Do what I must. Good to go now. Yeah, good to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's me, man. I'm done. Right, we're done for the day. Good effort today. So many hours streamed. Oh my god, basically a 12-hour stream today three hours earlier and freaking eight hours stream right now <sighs> legend rag fear hey thank you man take it easy bye bye I'll see ya bye just kidding that's not how we end things around here, right? Let me quickly save this. Uh, let's get a save right there. Beautiful. Exit to desktop. Hell. 